I'd rather toot that toot that ass and eat <laughs> eat a nigga, bro. He might not tell me to eat somebody. He might tell me to go get somebody so he can eat them. So you're gonna kill somebody? I'm not doing it. You're gonna get. So you're gonna prepare somebody for death. You gonna you there is having that weight on your conscience. <laughs> look at look, bro. And you think you are gonna have that somehow, weight so, on your meat? Somehow, oh, so pause. You, what? On hey, your yo. <laughs> so you think? So you think Diddy's gonna go to the extreme to tell me to toot that ass? But Jeffrey Dahmer's not gonna go to the extreme until you eat this nigga with me. <laughs> I mean, no. Yes, he will, bro. And he's gonna be a black man too at that. So you're gonna have to eat a black man rather than toot that ass for a black man. I know you see it. I think I do that every time. You do this I? every single uh. time. <laughs> Damn, I don't got no. I don't got. You got some oil for my beard. Wait, huh? so my shit been rolling? Yes. Come on, bro. you always, always do that for me, bro. Because yo, you, want you don't, to, you, you, want don't know, you don't know what I'm gonna say, bro. With what the camera, you, you don't know what I'm gonna say when the camera's not rolling, bro. I might go out of pocket. You no, nah, because this is your payback. Tell the people what time it is right now. What time is it? Well, I got here. I got here at. What time oh, did you get here? 11, 11.43, but you took 15 minutes to set up. This guy, Corey, was like, I'll be here around 10. I did say that. I said 10-ish. I didn't say Like, what it's time? It's 10-ish. Do you work every day? Something like that. Like, every single day? Like, what do you have off? Um, Sometimes I have off on Wednesdays. I have every Sunday off now until the end of the summer. Okay. Um, sometimes I have Saturdays off. Sometimes it's Wednesdays and Thursdays usually. Yeah. Sometimes Tuesday. It varies. Did you like have to put down any animals? He works at like a animal I, place, by the way. I put down hella animals this week, bro. Dang, he did. Yeah. So you used to it now? Yeah. Unless, unless it's a dog I know, then I'm kind of, like my boy Walker died Wednesday. That that hurt my heart. Walker was the first dog that I walked. No, so I'm lying. <laughs> Loki's the first, the very first dog I walked at my job. But Walker was the first like overnight that like when it was time like borders. Yeah. I had to walk the borders. He was the first dog I walked. He looked like. A little like Bishop a little bit, but he's like oh, really? different though. He's not Bishop though. Is he same type Damn, of dog? Shit, no, about to make me cry, bro. Same type of dog? Nah, he's like an Alaskan Malamute. Uh, those aren't those the big ones? Yeah, yeah he big as fuck. Oh. Well, he was big as fuck. Oh dang! Then I went RP. over. I went over to the uh to the freezer, uh today to look at him, say bye again one last time. So you walked in, like, after like all for your own like on your own will. Mm-hmm. And like had like a little private talk, like goodbye, Walker. Goodbye, my guy. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. kind of strange, but I, I respect it. Though. No, I do that to I do that to most of the dogs that I know that die. I'm not crying. It's the lights. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. It's the lights. Was there any dogs that I've seen when I walked in that one time that died? You might, you might have seen Walker. Remember the dog that I, I think you did see Walker. The one that jumped in the pool. No, fuck that dog. <laughs> I hope he's next. <laughs> fuck. I'm not going to say his name. Fuck that dog, bro. I hate that nigga, bro. No, remember the dog? I, sh- I used to show you. He'll poop, and then he'll yell after he pooped. Did I ever show you that dog? No. I think I walked him with you before. Like, he was, like, walking. Like, he oh, poops. probably. He poops, and then he, like, he, like, howls and, like, like rolls in the grass. <sighs> yeah, then, like, rolls in the grass. Like, he hype. Yeah, like, he, yeah, it's out of me. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> yeah, nah. And then my coworker dog died. She di- The dog died at home, but, like. She brought her to me, uh, and then like we had to like I had to wrap him up in front of her boyfriend. It was kind of sad. Dang. I didn't cry though. But like, so you're really the grim reaper for animals. Not really. Like, like I haven't killed a lot of dogs, bro. Like lately, like lately I haven't been doing both. I just been doing the hotel. So have you ever like what was like the what's the most exotic animal that they have over there? A pig. Yeah, the pig. Yeah, him. Like, no, officer. Damn, was officer Bacon? Yeah, <laughs> it was a little pig. No, he was big as hell. Like it was like a like a. It was a it, it was a mini pig, but like he wasn't little. <laughs> Let me just show you. Wasn't he officer Bacon? Officer Bacon. Who they has not? a pig? Had to have been a rich person. Officer Bacon. Tough. They not like us. They not like us. Oh my gosh. Nah, he he was big though. He was. Uh, he was ugly. So that was like the most exotic animal you had? Stunk. Uh, we had a chinchilla. We had a chinchilla. You know, Jason has a sugar gliders. Yeah, they're not that exotic, but you could yeah. buy that. I didn't know that. They look kind of. But like, they cool though. I mean, not to downplay them. They cool. They're not that exotic though. They can't. He he said he doesn't really do much with them. He has to keep them in the cage. Yeah, cause they you have to like have them like give them places to jump and like actually sugar glide. Like, he said one time they got out of his um the cage and uh-huh. it took him like three four hours to find them because he he Loki has like a big basement. 
And like they would like go into like the little crevices, mm-hmm. and like there was one that he was like not coming out, and he had to like really dig in there to like grab him. And I think they just had babies. Oh, look at my boy, bro! When he was little, who is that? I don't want. I don't want to name drop. He like, looked like Scooby. I don't want to name drop. Like, like be fans, but like okay, you right. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Like, the dog I just sent you. He, he's big now. Like he, the big one now. Oh, he's oh, huge. Oh. Now. Yeah, yeah. Dang, the one my name. mm Hmm. Wow, that's him? He, no, that's not that's not Atlas. Oh. That's not Atlas, but he did take Atlas from like you took, at, a, you took Atlas from him. No, I didn't. I'm gonna get a dog me and Jay gonna get a dog named Atlas, a big dog. I might get a, I might get a key to low key. I'm telling you they are the best, bro. I might get if a you key get a key to like let me look at let me look it for you. Jay, you don't want a key to the one like Bishop? Bishop well, is perfect. You could no, you don't want to be a dog. A Dawson, they're so annoying. Like they look cute, they're so annoying. No, though. Some like of the I, ones is cute though. I want to punt everyone I, I, that comes to my. We job. we had a lot of little. We, I mean, she has little dogs. We used to that anyway. Bro, you get a little dog. He has I one. Know, he has, she has a little poodle, and then he has the twenty big dogs. Yeah, but the, wait, who? Uh, what's his name? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. See, about to get him. But dang, where's this pig at, bro? Why you look for the pig? Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast. Episode number. Come on, you got this. You were literally on here two episodes ago. Oh, so it's one. 40, no, yeah, 142, 139. There you go. 139, 139. <laughs> 139. You know what it was? I was supposed to be on 142. Yes. Yes, that's why I said that, 139. Yeah. You know, Corey is here. You know, he's pro- he was here two weeks ago, but, you know, I'm always happen. here, man. Corey's always reliable. He's he's a new reliable now. Who's, who's the old, Mr. Reliable? Fritz. Oh. But Fritz be working on weekends, so he worked late tonight, and he gets bread, so. He, oh, he don't like the dude, So I, we're talking about I don't get bread? <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Hey, bro. I think I get bread, bro. I think you do, too. He said, I'm not touching no money, bro. <laughs> if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, post notifications, yo, follow us on Patreon. Yo, we have new episodes on Patreon. We're recording another, uh, we're recording another Patreon exclusive episode tomorrow. Oh, Corey found a, that's not a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. And if you subscribe to our Patreon, we're going to shout you out on the podcast. So we're going to go to our free subscribers. Shout out to Laquel Ingram, mm. Tyrone Bowen, Corey name. Petty. <laughs> shout out Corey Petty, <laughs> King Fry, Tamia. And for our second round steals, we got DJ Khalid, Lelon, Paul, and Muhammad. Shout out to y'all. Lelon from RD- RDC? I don't know. Maybe. Shout out yeah. to you, though. Subscribe. We got a $3 tier, $5 tier, and a big $10 tier. We got new exclusive videos. If y'all subscribe to the $5 tier, y'all get two free episodes a month, minimum. If y'all subscribe to the $10 tier, you get two free uh, episodes, or no, two episodes minimum, and an exclusive bonus content, you know what I'm saying? So, we got that out the way. Uh, Anything else? Oh, anything else you want to say, Corey? Before, are you finding the pig still? I'm still finding the pig. This man is still finding the pig. Right. Yeah, I know it's in this time frame because it was in the summer. Well, while he looks for the pig, I want to shout out. Okay, our... the Sandy Sandy was alive, so I'm too far. Are you almost there? Yeah, yeah I'm almost there. Keep going. All right. Hey, yo. Pause. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm almost there. Keep going. It's insane, bro. Why didn't you stop me? How am I supposed to stop you? Hey, yo. All right. <laughs> yo, um... By the way, while he looks for the pig, we just want to shout out our sponsors. Shout out to Seat Geek, if you never know. Oh, we on Seat Geek now, bro. I'm going to the Knicks game on game five, and I bought it with Seat Geek, bro. Y'all need to tap in, bro, because Seat Geek got me some great tickets. Uh, front row, court side, you feel me? Like, and then I could go in the booth, and I'm actually on the court too. Like, Seat Geek hooked me up with all that, bro. <laughs> shout out to Seat Geek, bro. Use our code note. Regular. Yep. No regulars. She was on the code No Regulars, so you could be on the floor and front side too, bro. Shout out to No Regulars, bro. Yeah, shout out I mean, to shout out to Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek. Use our code No Regulars, all capitals N O R E G U L A R S, and you get twenty dollars off your first purchase over fifty dollars. Twenty dollars off, people. You know that's cheap. Them tickets. Y'all don't want to go to Ticketmaster because Ticketmasters be scammers. They do, bro. They don't be and they don't put you front row, bro. They don't. Do, they don't be Seat Geek. They, they have a. They have their own system where they track down any of the scammers if there's a if there's a green dot that means it's good to go if it's red it's not safe come on there's concerts available nba playoffs is going around right now we got the mlb starting up we got concerts going around people on world tours look at seat geek 
code no regular. Shout to y'all, man. We f- official Seat Geek ad- ambassadors. You know what I'm saying? Have you found the pig yet? I'm. It's pissing me off that I can't find this pig. Cause I, I know. Because I know. I know the area where it's at. Okay, Marty. Marty was. Marty was still alive. Are you just I'm taking there. pictures of random people's dogs? Like that's like. Imagine they were their kids. Yeah, now you're cooked. That's crazy. Now you're cooked. If you if you worked at a daycare, now you're cooked. But you gotta give them with the same respect because we treat animals with the same respect as we treat children. I mean, we could take selfies with the kids. I wouldn't put no. I wouldn't put the kids in a room and then take pictures of them. That's kind of crazy. That's wild. I mean, that's what I do with the dogs. So like, like, like you like, hey, everybody, huddle up. (laughs) Yeah, actually. (laughs) Oh, there we go. How did I pass it this many times? Because this nigga's ugly, bro. Oh my god. This thing is nasty. Jay, look at this thing. That That's an ugly pig, bro. Yo, people, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this thing ugly. I'll put it up on the screen, but... They not like all... us. I'll just send you the video. Yeah, send me this video. Nah, his teeth crazy. They don't brush his teeth. Mm-mm. Aw. You think they cooked them? Huh? You think they cooked them? Cook, cooked him? Yeah. He's alive, bro. Oh wait, he's still there. Yeah, he's not dead, bro. Like he's with you, right? Like as we speak. Not with us, but like he's alive. Oh, so like, have has anybody ever given you like their little? Mm, I'm, I'll be wondering what type of pets, bro. Because you know they have an exotic pet store in like Lodi. Lodi, yeah, I go there. I used to go there all the time. Like, don't they have like skunks and stuff? Mm-hmm. That's why I want a skunk. It's six hundred dollars. They give that's you the permit, that, everything. That's not that bad. Mm-hmm. What else do they got? Do they have everything. They got they got uh, Kuda Munde, Me- Mexican raccoons. Was it? How big are they? About the same size as a raccoon. Do they look like a raccoon? No, they got long noses. Uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I've seen that before. Yeah, they. Oh. They got uh, what's them? They got the the they got all types of parrots in there, like the gray African parrots. Yeah. The ones that actually talk. They had a toucan in there. Freaking Jay's aunt has a parrot that speaks, like sing songs. For real? Yeah. What, what song does it sing? Like Spanish oh, songs. Them. Oh, saco <laughs> That was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or. <laughs> oh, please. I'll tell you you be singing. Like, if you will sing to her, or if you say hello, say hello back. And, like, in the morning, it'll start, like, singing, like, songs and stuff. My 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 grandma got a bird. Well, it's not really my grandma. She's, like, my god grandma. But she has a bird that she's. The only thing he says is his name. What? Like, Jackie! That's his name, Jackie. Jackie? That's, no, that's the that's my grandma. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but the bird only says her name. It's so funny. Yeah, that's funny as hell. Is is new? Can you have a, can you have like a monkey as a pet in New Jersey? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can if you have the right permits and the right amount of money. Because you, you know which monkey I'm talking about. I'm talking like the little, little yeah, monkeys. Yeah, the capuchin monkeys. That's what they call capuchins. I mean, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's around that capuchin it's, monkeys. I be seeing it on TikTok. There be people that have like. I remember there was this one guy. He had a monkey. He freaking died, bro. Oh yeah, we probably watched the same dude. Like I feel so bad. Like they said, they just took him to a checkup and he croaked. Yeah, probably watched it. Yeah, we watched the same dude. I know what you're Dang, talking about. Dang, bro. But like, I be seeing magic. He got another one though. How much you think those things cost? Four <sighs> K? Nah, way more than that. Ten? Probably. Damn. 10. I'm guessing. I don't know. Oh, Okay. But that, I doubt you could buy a monkey for four K. I mean, what's the most expensive dog? Like two, three thousand. Maybe. See, that's the thing though. Cause they be put like, cause some Frenchies are like ten thousand. You could you could find you could find a Frenchie for like a thousand. See, Frenchies for ten k is old. But people buy those though. Like people, Why? Like rich people buy Frenchies for ten thousand, twelve thousand, twenty dollars, twenty thousand dollars, just for them to fucking fall and break their back and never walk again. Yes. It happens. <laughs> you, you you seen it before? I mean, I haven't seen them break their back, but I've seen a, I've seen a Frenchie that was perfectly fine the day before coming the next day. It can't walk. I'm like, what happened? So do you <laughs> jumped off the couch? Because <laughs> he got little legs, right? He nah, can't. they're this how they're built. Their spine is just all like like scoliosis. Not even it's just you know like just you know compact, bro. You know it's actually crazy. I, I don't know if I told you my little my cousins. Their dad got a bully, like one mm-hmm. of the little bully dogs. I remember he had him for like maybe five months and like he couldn't walk up the stairs. He was fat? He wasn't fat. It was just his legs was too little. He couldn't go like this. Like oh, he, I mean, like yeah, this. that's how, yeah. So, oh, yeah. We have a bully name that comes to my job regularly. Yeah. His name is Eight. Guess how much he cost? $8,000? Mm-hmm. That's why his name is Eight. Wow. So they never forget. <laughs> he paid, <laughs> paid 8K for him. That's OD. But that's, like, I, that's the dog I showed you with the balls. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he showed me some dog with balls, yo. <laughs> But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, are these dogs low-key, like, disabled? Are we, like... Because, like... If they were human, they would be disabled. They would be yes. disabled, right? A Frenchie, English Bulldog. English Bulldog, too? 
Yeah, bro. They're basically they just can't breathe, bro. They oh, uh, they got they can't. They they're, they're just walking medical problems, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I be thinking, like I be thinking, like miniature. I be telling Jay and her parents like because they have a mini like a teacup Yorkie. I'm like mm-hmm. that dog's technically a, a midget. I mean, you could say that about a lot of dogs. <laughs> no, but like that's like like a York. It's a teacup. Like a Yorkie's yeah. not that supposed to be that small. Yeah, like that thing's like a deformation. Yeah, that's technically. A, yeah, it is. But it's like we don't look at it like that. Like that dog is like that dog's not supposed to be this little, but he don't even know that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No, we're not, we're not judging short people, man. We're no, no, we're not judging short. Judging short pe- I'm, I'm judging. Joking, I'm, I'm judging short dogs, though. But yeah, now nah, like, like all those like most all bulldogs are like walking. Like, if you get those any like any day, yeah. he could wake up and your dog is straight just. Bro, not walk, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. My <laughs> uncle, he he had the dog for like five months. Yo, he just woke up one day and like died. Like I think he had like what like, he had? like stomach cancer or something. What he had? A Frenchie? No, he had a uh, the bully dogs. Oh, like I think he was like his stomach was all messed up. His probably, intestines. I mean, probably bloat. Maybe that probably will happen. But like five months, I'm like, dang, he paid like three k for that dog. Yep, you get your money back though. Like if you're, if I think most breeders. If have you like buy insurance? A, yeah, if you buy a dog and it dies under a year, you get a free dog. A free dog? Yeah. Or the money back for that dog? Or it depends? Uh, depends. Okay. I know when point. Mac died, the one before Bishop, Yeah. the breeder was going to give us a free dog, but the breeder wasn't breeding Akitas no more. So uh, like, we give you a German Shepherd or whatever. He was like, nah, nah, we want So do they have like a farm and stuff? Most breeders do, yeah. Like they have Not a farm. a farm, but like a kennel, like a, a breeding. Dogs. Yeah. Maybe it's a farm. You could probably say. So it's what a do farm. they do? Do they just put a male and a female and just let them go at it? Pretty much, it, like you get dom- you get a two dominant males and probably like four females, five females, mm. and you just once they in heat, go go have sex, <laughs> get like, pregnant, uh, and then rest repeat. Just go as you go. Just nature. Yeah, keep going. Mm. And then they probably like when one is getting old, they probably find another dominant or well, two do- more dominant males. Do you have to have a license for that? That's a good question. I mean, I don't think so because anybody could breed their dogs. But, but like, okay, you could breed your dogs, but I mean, like, make it into like a business where where you have to like where you're like buying another dog to breed with this dog, and I, like you keep. I'm pretty sure, like, the higher up you go, then probably you need a license because that's yeah. od. That's kind of a finesse. I'm not gonna lie. I think you. I think yeah. Like the the more official you are, you probably need a license because your dogs have to be certified with like the American Kennel Club and all that type. Yeah, of other because stuff. like, isn't it like sometimes it's like not safe to cro- to breed a dog with another dog? Yeah, then you're not supposed to do that. Like that's. Like, I mean, not not supposed to, but like it's yeah. not safe to do because that. then. Like I think the something something in the DNA gets messed up. So like let's say you have two two Akitas. Yeah. You, you mix the girl Akita with a a pit bull. Yeah. Or like and then you mix the then like the Akitas made again. That the babies might come out looking like pit bulls still because you uh, cross you cross breed it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like they're like the DNA is all a whack now. Now like she's done now. Like if you, let's say you have a if you let's say you was a, at a breeding farm mm-hmm. and your Akita got pregnant by a pit bull, that Akita's done. What do you mean done? Like she's like she's, dead? She's, no, I mean she's not. She probably uh, hopefully don't just kill her. Yeah. But she won't breed no more. Like she won't be on your breeding list. Uh, She'll only like unless you want Akita pit bull mixes. That's the only thing she's good for. She'll uh, never okay. breed pure Akitas again. Oh, I get what you mean. Like her whole mm. DNA line is just messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. She'll never breed Akita. Like purebred Akita, she'll never breed them again. That's crazy work, bro. That's really crazy. Because I'd be thinking about that a lot. Like, can you, like, what? There's probably the only dog I probably think you can't breed with, like, like a little dog and a big dog. No, you can. The, How is that possible? The big dog just has to be the female. Oh, dang. That's crazy. Because so, think so about, cause, yeah. Because so it's climbing mountains? I mean, yeah. It's literally, <laughs> you got to climb a mountain. Because you can't have, a, you can't have the, the little dog. Be the mom, yeah, because the puppies is the si- probably be the, the same size as the mom. The pup, the, the mom would die giving birth. Uh, and think about it, she's giving birth to like two, three puppies, four or five puppies. So that's like, as big as her. Yeah, so she's probably not even going to make the pregnancy. If we're being honest. Ah, uh, okay. And then just on top of that, the the got the the sex part is going to be brutal anyway. Yeah, yeah. So like, you ever watch um Ro- Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins? Yeah, yeah. That, at, at the end, you literally. Fifi, what's that? Fifi, what was that? What was his dog's name? <laughs> I forget. That big dog that was like 20 years old yeah that would never work because the dog was a, <laughs> the big dog was a male that yeah, would yeah. never work okay 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 i was just making sure but since we're talking about animals bro i got a question we can start the podcast off with we can start the podcast 
No, like a question. <laughs> this guy is a freaking weirdo. All right. So, so say animals has has taken over the world. Mm-hmm. Like think of animals as in like Planet of the Apes, but like every single animal is like that. Yeah. They hate humans. They want to kill off every human in the world. Every animal is against us. Yeah. Create a lineup with fifteen dollars, and I'm gonna give you the categories. All right. Um, animals that. No, no. I'm gonna give you like weapons and like things. Oh. And but you only have fifteen dollars to spend. Okay. And I'm gonna give you a, with each price. Hold on. Let me look at the thing real quick. So. Um. So the first category is your weapon of choice. Mm-hmm. For now, I got twenty dollars, fifteen dollars. Okay, and there is five categories. So weapon of choice for five dollars a grenade launcher, four dollars a stormtrooper blaster, three dollars a crossbow, crossbow, two dollars an axe, or one dollar Hulk fists, like the ones you get from Toys R Us. Oh, it's like, like nothing basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what was four? Surviving the animal apocalypse. No, what was, what was four? Like what was four dollars. Storm, I mean, the, yeah, four dollars. Storm, storm stormtrooper blasters, like the ones they use in like in Star, Star Wars? Wars. Yeah, like the real ones, though, right? Yeah, they like pew pew pew. I think I'm gonna go with that. That for four dollars? Yeah, because I don't think a grenade launcher that's not effective. Well, if it's unlimited grenades. No, but like I'm gonna destroy everything around. Like I'm not gonna effectively. Like what if they're close up to me? Ah, uh, you know, then now I'm now I'm screwed because okay. now I gotta blow myself up to kill. Look at you. You think. said a a crossbow like that is it's not fast enough. A crossbow. I don't. Tyrone's gonna disagree with me, but <laughs> a, a, a crossbow's not fast enough. And then when you said number two was a what? Axe. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Bro. Okay. It's a right. lion or something. So you're gonna what? take the stormtrooper blaster. Yeah. All right, and you can't go over fifteen dollars. Okay, the way. so I'm at four right now. So you're at eleven dollars now. Uh, pick an item. So it's a jet for five dollars, a jet pack, mm-hmm. four dollars invisibility suit, three dollars force field, two dollars unlimited food, or one dollar a smoke machine. Two dollars unlimited food. I gotta survive. Unlimited food? I gotta survive, yeah. Over the jet pack? Yeah, I gotta survive. Over the invisibility that's club? The, that's the one I almost chose that, but I gotta survive. What if they come ransack and steal your food? I have unlimited food. So. Okay, all right. <laughs> they okay. can steal it, but I'm going to keep having I'm gonna have more food. Okay, okay. Now you're at $9. Now, choose your partner. Mm-hmm. For $5, King Kong. Yeah. $4, Beast Boy. That question. <laughs> $3, Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Uh-huh. $2, Prime Steve Irwin. Or $1, Tiana Trump. Tiana Trump. Next question. Now, let me... Now, Why? <laughs> What you mean? What is she gonna do? What is she gonna like? What is she provide? You seen her in those, in those, in those, the like the, the videos that I'm talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> you could have picked King Kong. I'm good, bro. That's that's too much money. He's too big. Like I don't want, I don't need I don't need him to protect me from everybody. I want to have a a normal life with somebody while while I'm living in this apocalyptic animal world. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you could have picked Beast Boy. Beast Boy's cool and funny. Yeah, yeah, but like I want to like I want to like vibe with somebody though. Like he's he's green. You can't vibe with Caesar. And and he's also like he's also uh like he he's, he can turn into animals. So what if yeah. he what if he turn on me? He's not gonna turn on you. That's why he's that, there though. to help you. I don't you. know that though. And then and he Caesar. said Caesar, he's a chimpanzee, bro. But like he's him. a great leader. Yeah, yeah, but he, then he's gonna like realize he's working with the ops, and then he's gonna. But he in the movie he liked humans. Yeah, but he don't. He didn't like him to stay with, enough with him. He bit bro. He bit, bit bro finger off in that movie, bro. Okay, Steve Irwin, prime Steve Irwin. Yeah, but he, he died. But he's in his prime. He's not. He's alive. He was now. in his prime when he died. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is horny, bro. I'm just saying, like me and Tiana Trump, we could live a good life. We got unlimited food. What else we got? Storm we got Stormtrooper Blasters. One store to Stormtrooper Blasters. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then, like, yeah, we can live a good life, bro. Okay. We good, bro. We chilling. They're not, they're not living long. But, <laughs> all right, now you get to choose a vehicle. For uh-huh. $5, a tank. $4, a helicopter. $3, a yacht. $2, a 2012 Honda Civic. And $1, a skateboard. What's three? A yacht. What's four? A helicopter. Mm, nah. Was five a tank? Yeah. And was four? Wait, so is the animals like the water creatures against us too? Yes. Nah, I would I would have chose the yacht, but like let's say orcas wanted to like orcas are smart. They're hunting you down. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's not smart. Unless I could park the yacht somewhere. I mean, you want to park it in the? No, like I want to park it like low key on land, so I could just like have a crib, <laughs> <laughs> like in a backyard, like a yeah, suburban backyard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
How are you going to get that there? I don't know. Or just park it on shore. So, like, if the if an orca tries to, tries to like, he's going to shore himself and kill himself. So, you're going to take a yacht over a tank? Yeah, because, like, I already got a stormtrooper blaster. Like, why I need to, like, keep shooting? Like, Do you know how? You're very limited on weapons and skills. <laughs> what you mean? Like, like, you have you... Tiana Trump and a stormtrooper, one stormtrooper blaster. But I need somewhere to live. That's is that the next place? Like I don't have nowhere to live. I mean, you could live. Well, I mean, it might be. I'm not gonna live in the tank, bro. That's not enough space. I mean, for me and Tiana, is enough space. But like, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, you the next one might be a base. The next one might be another person. You never know. You gotta take the risk, bro. You you have eight. You have eight dollars to spend though. So, that, but five dollars. I mean, I'm gonna be stuck with uh, how many more categories I got. You got one more after this. So I mean, I'm limited to three dollars. Yeah, I'm taking the yacht. I'll take the yacht. You gotta take the yacht. Yeah. So now you have five dollars. Uh huh. All right. So now it's your base. Damn it, bro. <laughs> so now, for five dollars, so you have five dollars left. For five dollars, you can get a space station. Mm hmm. Four dollars, a private island, but there's a, it's not like there's houses. It's just literally the island. Okay. Three dollars, a white van. No, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> $2 a tree house or $1 a tent. You have $5. You can pick anything you want. It was a, a spaceship, right? Uh, a sp- the space station. What's that? like? What they Where the astronauts be? Where they floating up in the air and shit? But I got to go in space to get it? Duh. Like, what? You think it fell? Why do I want to go to space? I mean, at least you're not down here. You got unlimited food and you up there. You don't got to fight nobody. You're right. I got unlimited food. Yeah. But then I wasted my yacht. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Why you want the yacht for, bro? Can my, can my, can my space station be just as big as the yacht? <laughs> I mean, however big a space station is, I mean, it's, it fits like three, four people. And what was the fourth one? A private island. I'm doing a private island. Yo, I just, I, I'm tacked, bro. I, I worked out. It worked out. <laughs> but it worked out. So It just worked out for itself. I'm but, doing a private island, bro. What if there's animals on that island? I listen, mean, you, can fight, you just got to fight them off. Listen. Okay. You've killed all the animals on the island. Yeah. Right? I parked my yacht on the island. <laughs> I, 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 what's it called? You, docked uh, it? Not dock it. Like you, you, it, cause you beach? Yeah. I beach my, I beach my yacht. Uh huh. We kill all the animals on the island. Mm-hmm. We have unlimited food. And I have Tiana, Tiana Trump, bro. I'm chilling, bro. I'm literally chilling. That, For the rest of my life, I'm chilling, bro. You could have been in space, though. Nah. Like, you could, like, you really don't have to do nothing. You're just up there. I don't got no gravity. I mean, there's a, there could be, there's a gravity lock. Like, I don't think it's I, but that's too, that's too much, that's too much unlocking and locking. And, for me, I'm good. I just, I just, I just did it, bro. Okay, all right. So you cool with that? I'm cool with that. Private island, beach the yacht, stormtrooper blaster, kill all the animals on the island, mm-hmm. unlimited food, and unlimited Tiana. shorty. <laughs> <laughs> you, I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of that's not that's a that's a that's a pretty good lineup. That was very conservative. There we go. And you have a dollar to spend. So what we'll cover my dollar on? <laughs> what I got left? <laughs> There's nothing left out here, bro. Unless you want, you can get a tent to live on an island with. Ooh, that's what I got. Cause you got four. You spent four dollars on a private island, so you have a dollar left. So you can get a dollar. You can get a tent, skateboard, a smoke machine, or Hulk fist. A smoke machine. What's that gonna do? I mean, be high. No, no, <laughs> like you know, like the the fog machines. You can like as a like, cover. But I'm on the private island. I'm good with that. I don't want to draw attention to my. Just get, my, just get a tent, bro. Oh, I can look with the skateboard, bro. What do you want a skateboard for? Entertainment, bro. You're okay. not gonna be able to. What are you gonna ride on? There's grass. On the yacht, you can't even skateboard. I used to, but like, wh- like, <laughs> uh, give me the tent, bro. Give me the tent. <laughs> like, yo, what are you gonna do with the skateboard <laughs> on a yacht, cuz? I'm a, like, like we could learn to like the skateboard again. Like, but there's no space. It is. Like, you know how big a yacht is. But like, you're not gonna give me no no broke yacht. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get a nice one. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my fault. You gonna get the the hundred hundred k? Yeah, yacht? I'm getting the one off the GTA, bro. The GTA <laughs> yachts, bro. What are you talking about? Oh my fault, bro. I, I gonna... take the I take the tent, bro. Okay, okay. I was about to give you a broke boy, broke boy. Nah, what are you talking about? I'm the only one left, bro. Why am I getting the worst yacht? Yo, that's... I'm getting the best one. Wow. Bro. Who's gonna tell me no? You kind of finessed it though. At least you're out of the ocean. Mm-hmm. You're in a private island. 
And you got a limit. That limited food saved you. Exactly. I was gonna put a limited uh, smoke gr- smoke grenades. Nah, they out of the out of blue mind. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Dang, so a limited eats and a limited head. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's dreaming about this, bro. He's gonna have a great time. There's Yo. not even a podcast for this dude no more, bro. Yeah, this is this is life, bro. Yo, all right, bro. But okay, since we're talking about, um, I actually got a story to tell you. Mm-hmm. It's not really a story. But it's something that happened, and people don't know what's going on. Dun, 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 dun. Kadoosh. All right. Everybody, dim the lights. <laughs> so, don't cut the lights off. No, no, no. <laughs> so, all right. So, you remember, so you remember the uh, eclipse a month ago, right? Mm-hmm. It's officially been maybe a little bit over a month. So, there's, a, there's an anomaly that happened off the coast of Antarctica, and nobody knows what it is, right? Antarctica. At, Antarctica. Have you seen it? No. So... Like there was a radar, you know the radars in the on the world and stuff. Mm-hmm. So people have radars and it shows like how high the waves go mm-hmm. and stuff. So I guess there was a after the eclipse happened, a big like mass of water came out of like freaking Antarctica, like the the next day. Yeah, and it was like creating like eighty to a hundred foot waves in the middle of the ocean, and it was like going towards Africa. And mm-hmm. people, you know how people be on the internet, they thought it was like a sea monster or something like Godzilla, the Leviathan, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like, people were saying, like, oh, it was just a glitch in, like, the system because there's, like, there's, like, because there's, like, a bunch of, there was a bunch of co- commercial ships and they said they didn't see nothing. So, they just said it was a glitch, right? So, recently, two weeks ago, that same bloop happened again. It's called a bloop? They call, I don't know, it's like a, blo- it looks like a blob, mm-hmm. like, the way it looks like in a picture, but I'll say bloop. So, the same thing happened again, but this time it looked like it dispersed. Like, if somebody dropped something and it went, like, and then the waves went over. And then if you, I don't know if you've seen, I think a couple of days ago, like those waves reached to the the bottom part of Africa, like yeah. South Africa. And there was like 20, 40 foot waves. And there was like tsunami, not tsunami. It was like little mini tsunamis happening. And uh, I forgot, it was like Cape Verde or whatever. So then I remember I was, I was um, uh, watching a video of what people think it could be. Because these people are still saying, like, they think it's a sea monster that's, like, causing waves that are, like, swimming over. Because they said it was the size of Texas. Mm. Like, how big the thing was. So same Texas. Okay. This guy's weird. <laughs> so, now, now think about it like this, over. right? I heard Russia created a weapon called Poseidon. Mm. Like, a nuclear weapon that creates freaking... Losers. You couldn't think of nothing more clever than that. You, that's not cool? No, bro. It's, 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 it's cliche. What would you... That's like naming a freaking Thunderbolt weapon Zeus. Exactly. That's not tough? No. Because it's so obvious. What are you going to name it? This with Poseidon. Like, what are you going to name it, cuz? Let's see this. Let's see this, everybody. Let me think. Hold on. That's the thing. I will have time to think of something more clever than Poseidon. Storm, Storm Blaster? No. Something... Uh. Yeah. I'm cooked. See, you got cooked, bro. But like I feel like it's if I did enough research, by by next pod I might have something cooler than Poseidon. You want to? By next pod? Yeah. Yeah. We come ask the questions again next next pod. All right, we're shaking on right now. We're here. You see this? I don't know if y'all see this handshake. Corey's gonna come up with a better nickname. A than better Poseidon. Yeah, something cooler than Poseidon, bro. Like that's the Poseidon's the, the, the god gr- of the god of water. Yeah. The god of the ocean. God the of the ocean. Get it right, brother. Yeah, that's so common, bro. That's like naming your dog Atlas because he's big. Your dog's name is Bishop. A bishop is not even the, the most important piece in the chess game. See, see, you sleep. That's not why I named him Bishop. Why you name him Bishop? I named him off the Tupac from Juice. You know who else name is Bishop? Who's that? You know who B. Lou is? Who? B. Lou. No. Dang, you don't know. You don't watch it on YouTube. B. Lou and Zeus. You know Zeus. Oh, I know Zeus. You don't know B. Lou? Mm-mm. His dog name is Bishop? No, his name is Bishop. Oh, his real name. Yeah, his real name is Bishop. I was going to name my kid Bishop. I'm not going to lie. This man is weird. Can I, can I finish my story, mm-hmm. bro? <laughs> so... The the Russians created like a nuclear torpedo called Poseidon, mm-hmm. and so happened. Supposedly, they have a base in Antarctica that was where that blue came from. Yeah. So people think that they were they were testing that weapon in the water, uh-huh. and that's why there's like these little anomalies that's in like the system where it's like big hundred foot waves. Like they said these, they said um, this weapon could cause like tsunamis to happen in like freaking the UK. So imagine, right? Imagine Russia has this type of weapon and we're starting to get into World War Three. We're cooked. This is some new we we, we we got something too though. Like 
We all just gonna be cooked, bro. Bro, that's crazy. Like work. we might die, but like they gonna die too. So we like we all gonna be dead. Like they gonna be, like no one's gonna up the score. It's gonna be even. So nah, we good. I don't want that, bro. They gonna cause like it's gonna be like the flood, bro. Yeah, but then the world after that, the world's gonna do so much better. Like that's evil, that. bro. Like we we went from having troops on the thing to now we're doing freaking climate warfare. Yeah. Now what? We're gonna they're gonna cause storms. Well, I guess that means the freaking they can like doesn't that technically mean we control the weather? Technically, if they can make a, a weapon that can cause tsunamis, I and, guess so, but not really. Not really. Because not like we could like rain. You, know? you never know. I think we. I th- I think it's possible. No, I think we do control the weather. So in some way, right? Yeah, I think somebody pushing the button. Like, yo, we gonna make this shit snow on these niggas today. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like. Like they'll put it up in the air, and then that's how they can predict it. Like they'll put something in the particles and like yeah. like chemicals and stuff in the air, because that's what you ever seen the little chemtrails. That's probably what it's for. You mm-hmm. ever see, you never seen like a plane in the air and it leaves like a trail of like clouds. Mm, sure. You never seen that before. No. You oh, ne- like the oh no, you're talking about yeah. like this, and it'd be, and, it, and then it'd be like something behind it. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you yeah. just saying? No, that? no, I know what you're talking. Oh. About. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh I used to look God. at that in the sky, like the, a plane to go by, and it'd be like a little a line. line yeah. yeah. So they think that's like them putting like chemicals in the air to, create, to make it rain. Yeah, make it rain because like it'd be like the next day it start raining. Yeah. So you never know, bro. I used to believe when you killed a spider, like it really make it rain. What was that those little old wives tales? I mean, my mom used to tell me that, yo, don't kill a spider. It's going to rain the next day. And so you then, used like, to just let him live? And like three days in a row, I did it in like a rain. I was like, oh shit, I'm never, I'm never doing this again. Mm. But now I'll be smacking them spiders. Fuck them spiders. Hey, bro. man, I love rain. F it, bro. Them spiders need to die. I feel like when a spider gets to a certain point in, in like this the size, big, the size, he deserves to die. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, when I was now, now when I see, I kill it. But when I was younger, if I had like a spider in my room, as long as it stayed in that one, like in this corner, I wouldn't touch it. Why? You ch- you stay there. I'm you chilling. You're not bothering me. Bro, but it Once moves. He, one, no, but it will stay in the corner. Once that nigga move, you're dead. <laughs> no, cause I, he's dying, bro. Or now. I'll watch him get bigger. I'm like, oh yeah, you are getting too big, and then I'll kill it. So you're just gonna watch him grow. Like watch you go watch a spider grow up, and then be like, all right, now I'm America. Literally, I'll be like, oh, all right, let me see where my guy is today. Oh, he not there. And then he'll, like, let's say he's there the next day. I'll kill him because he moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of wild. <laughs> you get punished now? Yeah, you moved. Why did you move? You got you left your, you left your post? Yeah, you, she's not supposed to move. Now I have to kill you, bro. <laughs> yeah, this guy is freaking weird. I remember bro. once I was in the bathroom, bro, and it was a spider that lived, like, under the uh, the vet. It lived. I mean, like, I never, I never bothered it. Uh-huh. So he lived under the vent. Okay. And one day... He was gone. I'm like, dang, bro. Now I got to kill you next time I see you. <laughs> like, you got sad. <laughs> and, but I don't think he, he didn't move. A bigger spider ate him, bro. Because I remember I was looking, and I, was, and I see something. I seen, like, the legs. Oh, my gosh. It was of a bigger spider, though. But it was, like, in the vent. Like, not so. The, the spider looked at, like, the bottom. So, like, where yeah. I could see. This one looked in the vent. And he came out for a second. I was like, oh, shoot, somebody in here. And went back up. And I was like. That's not the spider. I'm like, nah, <laughs> that's not my mans, bro. <laughs> that's somebody bigger. So you used to like walk past him and see him every day? So no. So how I like, I never. So when I sit down in the toilet, the vent's right in front of me. So you used to like so check I used, up on him? So, I, so I, like, while I'm pooping, I literally just look, look, look forward. He's ahead of me. Yeah. So like if I took my foot out long enough, he's there. I could touch him. But I would never stick my foot out that long because I'm not going to touch a spider. Yeah. But. When I looked down, he was gone, but he was there early that day. I'm like, damn, bro, wow. I got to kill you now because you moved, but somebody already killed you. <laughs> somebody got to you before I did? Yeah, he was wow. bigger. I never I, I never, I never, looked under there to see how big that spider actually was. He moved somewhere. I don't know. He might be. He damn. might live there still. Imagine you was in freaking Australia. You're cooked. I would, I would never move to Australia for that exact reason. I feel like, you know what? I feel, you know, when you live in like a certain like. Area you like immune to certain things? Yeah, that's if you're from Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I I'm mean. not from Australia. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> I feel like there's some things, there's maybe some bugs and spiders that are like poisonous to us, but to them they're not that poisonous. Nah, I don't think that. You don't think so? No, nah, I think a, a, a brown recruit. Oh well, all. duh. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, but I mean, like there might be certain because like, like if the or I think it's more with like mosquitoes, right? 
That's like Africa though, like because they got more diseases. Because actually, I heard like, um, Jason told me before that because like, he was in um, <gasps> the heck, this man just got Sushi. the holy. Oh yeah, this man Jason. Uh, when he used to go, when he was in the Marines, he went to Marine school in like California, like communication mm-hmm. school, and he had he knew somebody. I guess he wasn't from around here. Like I don't know where he was from, but he got sick, like really sick. I mean that's true though. Yeah. Like if you're like not from here, bro. Like that's like the they, dude they, died. They, oh. He had like a freaking flesh eating virus, and oh. like they looked at him, they was like, "Nah, you're good. Like just just sleep." That's it off. crazy. I was about to say. Yeah. That's like if you go to like a a fried chicken spot, in Baltimore. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you like like a corner store. I'm gonna be like, no, do not eat from there. Yeah. Cause whatever they cooking, you're not used to that. Your stomach's gonna hurt. Uh, but like if we eat a fried chicken spot right from in Newark, we're gonna be good because we eat it every day or we like we're used to you it. You think it's real? Like, I think it's real because like <laughs> I used to do that. Like, I like go, like, I go to a different state yeah. or like a different part of New York and it'd be like a chicken spot. What if you just had a bad no? Food? I do it every like, my stomach would hurt every time. Maybe you have a weak stomach. I don't think so. Okay, what type of chicken spot are you talking about? Are you like in the hood? Yeah, like not like a crown, like not like a Popeye thing, not, not like a, a crown's chicken that's like. On the, on the corner of the in street, like Virginia or something, like in like anywhere, like I'll go to like Maryland or somewhere. It'd be a chicken spot. I'd really? Like, I'm like, nah, like, no, I don't eat that, bro. Wow. Your stomach's gonna like, or like, go to a gas station, like chicken there, like, don't eat that, bro. Like, you're not used to this. Oh, uh, I never really thought of. I mean, I, I mean, for me, I really never had. Maybe, maybe not my stomach hurt, but I get like a stomach cramp. No, like, like a stomach I, ache, stomach hurting. Like, oh, I I shouldn't have ate that. That's how you feel. Yeah. Oh dang, that's actually kind of nuts, bro. That's actually. <laughs> if I'm not, I'm, if I'm not from my area, I'm not eating from a corner store. Really? No. I'm what not going think? to the bodega. Let me get a. Let me get a. No, nah, I'm not doing. I that. mean, I don't even think they got bodegas down south. I feel like that's more of like a up here thing. But I'm saying, like, they got them. They do got them. Like, maybe like I don't know. You probably. It's right. not too crazy. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. like south. They definitely got a. Uh, they probably got a corner store where they make sandwich babies. They where, got to. down in like they got how to. far south are you talking? Virginia. Nah, I don't no, think you so. don't think so. Georgia. Atlanta. No, no, definitely not. No, you like, don't think so, bro. I feel like 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 sandwich spots and like. So you gotta Bodegas. go to like a, you gotta go to like a Subway's or Jersey Mike. Yeah, a like a Publix or something like that. Yeah, bro. I don't think so. I think you because go. you gotta think about it. that's like that's our thing. Like you know how they have barbecue spots. They probably have mad barbecue places down uh-huh. there, and You're we don't really right. have barbecue like that. You're probably right. Because like you gotta think about it. we have the best Chinese food, Italian food, and like pizza. Pizza. The well, last Italian food mm-hmm. and like a uh, bodega quick spots. They got. Like if you go down south and you eat Chinese food, that junk's mid. Yeah, it is. That I'm not gonna lie, in, in Jersey it's kind of mid too. Compared what, the to Chinese, New, compared to New York, bro, it's the same thing. It's not the same. You, Trust me, it's not the same, bro. What you what's your what's your go to order? I what's got, your go to Chinese food. I got order? three. Okay, I rotate to... these three: chicken and broccoli. Okay. With white rice. White rice. Okay. Chicken and pork fried rice. Okay. Chicken wings. Wait, chicken yeah, chicken wings and pork fried rice. But okay. I switched it now to chicken fried rice. Oh, wait, like chicken in the fried rice. Yeah, That's so it's it. chicken fried rice and then ch- chicken wings and chicken fried rice. Wait, chicken chicken fried rice? With chicken wings. With chicken wings. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's one order, though. That's one order, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, I'm trying to like not eat as much pork. Like, I still eat pork, but like, I'm trying to just eat bacon and like. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. But I'm, so I try to get the chicken fried rice instead of. Is that bussing? Yeah, it's bussing. Better than pork? Pork, that pork fries be. I'm gonna say I don't think it's that not better, be bro. Awesome, bro. And then my last one is chicken lo mein. Chicken lo mein. Mm-hmm. So you just rotate between those three. Mm-hmm. I get this is what I do. I get I, I mostly get the same thing unless I want to try like chicken wings. So I either I mostly my main order I'll get I'll get shrimp fried rice. Oh, not shrimp fried rice. I get pork fried rice with fried shrimp. That should be busting. And then I either substitute the fried shrimp with fried chicken wings, mm-hmm. and then I'll get a side of crab rangoons. You ever had those before, bro? Bro, they're so good, bro. My dad's order is either the house lo mein that got everything in it, shrimp, chicken. Yeah, yeah. Or, and the, no, his, that's literally his order. He gets the house lo mein that has chicken and shrimp and pork and all that. Yeah. With a side of spare rib tips. Spare ribs be busting. And two shrimp rolls. Two shrimp. Eh, shrimp rolls is not too bad. And my mom's is the same as me. It's chicken fried rice. Like, for me, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really like chicken and broccoli like that. I like the chicken and broccoli. That, really? That's my joint. That's like your favorite ever? Nah, that's, my favorite is the, the chicken fried rice. Chicken and broccoli then, second? Yeah, chicken and broccoli, then the lo mein. But, but like, I'm like not chi- gonna lie. When anybody, like, let's say, like, I get chicken fried rice and, like, my dad or my mom gets lo mein, I'd be like, 
Let me get some of that. Yeah, I need some. You get chicken and broccoli over the orange chicken? Yeah, yeah, I don't like orange chicken. Like, Not that I don't like it, I don't prefer it. But like, will you get like if you go to Panda Express, do you get orange chicken? I get the uh, Beijing beef. You get you like a Beijing beef kind of guy. No, I get chicken. What you? Oh, the teriyaki chicken. Yeah. Why yeah. you? Why you said it to me like I was like I disrespected you? <laughs> like, no, nah, I get chicken, bro. I get that chicken, bro. Like, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm black. I'm black. I get chicken, bro. Like, damn, my fault, bro. Yeah, don't disrespect my black card, bro. I get chicken, bro. I get chicken, bro. Teriyaki chicken. That's it, bro. He disrespected my whole race. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy work, bro. Nah, I, I don't know. I just don't. For me, I always never got the hype. I always thought chicken, broccoli, and beef and broccoli was like so overrated, bro. Oh, I'm not gonna. I haven't got beef and broccoli in mad long. I forgot that because that's what the they used to call the Tims, the beef and broccolis. What the the like green and uh brown Tims? The green and brown Tims. Oh yeah, the green. Oh, you sleep. You're not from New York for real. I'm not at all. No. <laughs> like I'm not live over there. Cause. Yeah, but like it used to be Tims. Like they used to call it beef and broccoli. Tims. Beef and broccoli. Uh-huh. Oh, Corey, you can move your mic down a little bit just to make sure, or sit up some so it's not in your face. Oh damn. damn. I forgot. I yeah. started slouching. Started I, I, sli- I was up here at first. It was good, bro. And then know. he started going. He started going down on me like that. Cause <laughs> like dang, I gotta. You guys, niggas gotta sit up. But uh, yeah, now the beef and broccoli Tims. But Dang, I haven't bro. had beef and broccoli in mad long, bro. I forgot beef and broccoli was a thing. I, just, really? I get chicken and broccoli so much, I forgot about beef and broccoli. Damn. Yo, when did we got to do a mukbang on the pod? Let me know. If, put like, it in the comments. Like, Mikado you know. avocado? Yeah. Nah. If I ever get that fat, shoot me. Nah, I won't, I won't let you, bro. Shoot don't, me, bro. Like, nah, like, don't, don't like, kill me. Like, no, like, no, like, no. I don't want to murder you. Let dog. me die, bro. But, like, yo, you. <laughs> murder I, my children should they. <laughs> right what? now, today. What is, you never seen that video? Okay, never mind, bro. You you and nah, Tom watch too nah, many. Nah, movies, I'm lame, bro. Nah, I'm lame. You, you are lame, bro. Like, <laughs> like act your age. Twenty four. I don't think I'm that old, man. Oh yeah, your birthday's not. Your birthday's in the past year. My right problem. now, today. You never seen that video? No. I hate you. You're weird, bro. You wouldn't want to do a mukbang? I'll do a mukbang with you. Dang, that'd be tough. I'll do one with you. Wait, have you watched the nigga Kato avocado videos where he used to like fight his boyfriend? No, I only watch the videos of his downfall. I'm not gonna lie. Oh really? When they talk about his downfall. Like, I I love those videos. Bro, but there was a point. They just be hating on him. I love it so much. <laughs> bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. I told you there was a point in my life where I used to just watch straight like mukbang videos. You're weird. Like, bro, because they look that. I'm like, like, I think I watched you eat one before. I eat one. I watched you watch one before. Yeah. I walked in. I'm like, what are you watching? I'm like, it was like a a girl eating a squid or something. Okay, no, that was like a video. That was like a short. I wasn't like watching a whole video. Oh, all right. I'm like, you're weird, bro. Why are you watching this, <laughs> bro? But like, there, so he had a boyfriend. I know he had the. I I I, I, I know about the the story because yeah, I watched the videos and like his downfall. So I, oh, I, so you seen I, it? I know, I know. I just don't. I never watched a full video of Nick and Kyle. Bro, they used, did you see when they used to like fight each other? Mm-hmm. Like they, they were staging that. I was like, that's that was stage. Yes. Oh, but they really broke up though. I mean, yeah, but like during yeah. that, I feel like during that time they weren't really like, bro. They were every video they was like throwing shit. Oh, throwing oh yeah, stuff yeah, at yeah, each other. Was, yeah, I knew that was stage. Like I'm that's like, clearly bro, staged. Though. But I'm like, why would you do that? So why would you turn on the cameras then do that and then review it and be like, oh my god, we look terrible. I'm gonna post it. That's just how people people want to make money these days, bro. Nah. Like, they don't. They don't all right, so let's stage it. Let's just fight now, right now. Like, let me just throw this water at you. Yeah, but let's think about a topic where, where I make you irate. That's a big word. Thank you. And <laughs> you throw water in my face because you're so mad at me, and then you kick me out the house. Say my mom stink. Your mom smell like, like Baloo. 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 He, he can't even say it right. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking weirdo. But. All right, you want you have any topics you want to talk about? Let me see what's in my. But list. before you go to topic, mm-hmm. we have a commercial, people. So we'll be right back after this break. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S. All caps at checkout will save you $20 on your first purchase with SeatGeek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in 
to see geek thank you again for sponsoring our podcast use code no regulars at checkout to save you twenty dollars on your first order of over fifty dollars or more that's n-o R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see when the video comes out, bro. All right. If you don't have a topic, I got a topic for you, bro. Oh, that's what I was going on my phone to look at. You look, you already freaking forgot, bro. <laughs> Want me going to my topics, bro? Why you look for yours? No, I have my topics on deck, bro. See, I want to tell you something about these people on the podcast that I have every day. These people? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <racist>. Yo, what? <laughs> I'm trying to uplift my brothers, but they don't mm. want to be uplifted, bro. Okay. I have I have three. Just, just give me one, brother. Okay. Oh. What's the most physically painful thing you've ever been through? Physically painful? Yeah. Dang, that's something I really got to think about that. Oh. Uh. Slamming my finger in a car door. I sl- I got my finger slammed in a car door also. Full, like, full douche though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Ooh. I was like five. I'm not the same. That shit hurt, How old were bro? you? Like, eight, nine. Yeah, I was like, I remember I was picking up my little cousin from daycare where my aunt was. And I was trying to get something in the. Thank God I had a glove on though. Like, uh-huh. I had, but no, it was, I had no glove. No, no, but it wasn't. It wasn't like a fat glove. It was like you know them little gloves mm-hmm. you get from the dollar store yeah. that you just, you could cut the things off. Mm-hmm. It was those gloves, so you could okay. still feel it. And she said, "Shink right on my finger, bro." Mm. Oh, I used to hurt. I remember. Okay, I got two. Like, ex- well, it's not really pain, but what I was really tired was there's this one uh, in high school, senior high school, no, junior high school at track practice. Mm-hmm. So like that's why when we used to run in Rutgers North, I used to like it wasn't as bad, bro. But I didn't I didn't do what y'all did. I didn't do no 10, so 10, 10 55s. Thank God, bro. God knew, you don't bro. Know about the ten fifty fives. So I did. So I remember. So in track, right? There's you know freshman, seniors, sophomore, juniors, or whatever. So but there, there's always one meet because not everybody gets to go to every track meet. They only mm-hmm. you only pick certain people that are the best people. Yeah. So I used to go because there, we didn't have a lot of jumpers. So I was used to be more on the jumpers, but I was the upper class anyways. So mostly. Unless you were really good, freshmen and sophomores wouldn't go. Yeah. But there was always one meet out of the year where it was a freshman and sophomore meet. So there was a year. So that was that day, and they went to like summit or whatever. Freshmen, sophomore. So it was just juniors and seniors, and there was only probably like nine or ten of us. And bro, we did a workout, and afterwards I laid there. I thought I almost passed out. Let me tell you what we did, bro. Mm-hmm. We did, we did six. You know what a six hundred is? Four hundred is one time around the track. Okay. Six hundred is a half is a is a full one and then another half. Okay. So I did six hundred, ten second break, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, and then five fifties. But you got all out sprint these. Yeah. And like before, I used to get away with it because I'm not I didn't sprint. I only did jumping events. So I used to like be able to like not really sprint, but I could like run, and I don't look like I'm last. Mm-hmm. I'm with the the sprinters, I told you and last. the no, no, I'm not last, but yeah. I gotta try to I gotta try to not look like I'm dead last. Mm-hmm. So I actually have to try yeah. before I didn't try, bro. I was like these guys is out here sprinting, and they I'm freaking dying, bro. Like it was so bad, bro. That 600 almost killed me, bro. Like it was oh my god. And sometimes we used to go on like the outside of the track, the longest part. It's like, it doesn't seem it's it's all even, but like it feels the longest part is the outside of the track because yeah. now you gotta take the long way, because the inside is a little, is easier because you could it's like you know it's like a sh- mm-hmm. not really a shorter distance but it seems shorter, but bro, I was freaking die yo it was so hot that day too bro I thought I was gonna lose that's probably it. the worst part to be in hot outside bro I remember I just laid there and was just like bro this is um, this is why this is why it's over bro I never been that tired in my life, but then another time right I, okay. So I don't know if you, you see this thing on you see this thing on my leg right here. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm not gonna show y'all people. Y'all weird. So <laughs> this was um maybe freshman or sophomore year of high school, right? So me and so I forgot what happened. It was me me and Ish used to go to the YMCA all the time. YMCA there's a YMCA in Roselle, and you know we used to there was a, the YMCA is here and then up the street is a Seven Eleven. So yeah. that was a, that was a routine. You go play you hoop. And then you go to 7-Eleven. So me and Ish was walking to 7-Eleven after. So it was it was like there was still snow on the ground. But we uh Ish was Ish was saying, like, yo, you can't jump that high. Your vertical mad short. I'm like, bro, I can jump. 
He's like, bro, you can't do nothing. So there was a little barricade. You know the barricades that they put in the ground? Mm -hmm. It's like a metal barricade. It's like to cut off like a... Like a dead end street. Mm-hmm. So there was a, one of those metal barricades. So I was like, bro, I bet you I can avert uh, this right now. So I, I, I bro, I freaking clip my foot. I scrape my leg, bro. Mm. And I was like, bro, it hurts so bad. I can imagine. Bro, it was it was a dent. Like it was like a gap. I should have got stitches. Bro, I remember I I went to the freaking, we went to the 7-Eleven to get some band-aids. And it was just, my leg was leaking, bro. And you for walked? like. Yeah, yeah, I still walked. Like, mm. in it, but like, it was just. And this was the most annoying thing because it ne- it took like five like five four or five months to heal because I was doing like box jumps one time on the mm-hmm. park over there on the I'm an idiot on like the freaking tables and I clipped my leg again right when it was healing and I scraped the bottom part and that's why I got this one right here. Mm. So now I I just reopened this one and I got a new one and bro I used to I, I used to like swim in my backyard and like the water would the water would make it like like squishy and like the scabs will go away mm-hmm. bro I, used to, I went through so many band-aids that summer bro like mm-hmm. i was so hesitant you couldn't to, just wait for it to heal bro it was taking too long bro like it was like it was bro i needed stitches for that because it was like a it was like a little dent in there should like like dug in for, you should just wait it for it to heal i was waiting for <laughs> no, it no you wasn't bro i wasn't really swimming often no you're like what you a, mean you're though you're just an idiot <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. i would have had i would have did box jumps again i would have waited for it to heal bro i'm trying to get better yeah you could get better without doing box jumps i wanted bro. to dunk bro you and you still can't dunk i've dunked twice in my life mm-hmm. how many times you dunked i dunked more than twice how many times i dunked a lot bro do you, do you think you're consistent do you say you were consistent dunker? i was consistent dunking and in, in every layup line i i, I really missed a dunk that's the only time I dunk was the layup line. But <laughs> in the layup lines, I really missed a dunk, especially freshman year. Sophomore year, I wasn't getting up there no more. Junior year, I really wasn't like. Yeah, he was done after that. No, junior year, I could still do it. It just I couldn't do it every time. Like, <laughs> like it was like every maybe every every four goes, I could, I could get up one time. But I wasn't going every every layup line. I, I probably, wasn't dunking, bro. There was times where I thought I could like. I remember I went to I, like when I played in the Filipino tournaments. There was a time, it was like. After I graduated, and we went to um, it was like a there's like a sports complex in Manalpan where everybody played an AU tournament. And I remember I went like I seen the video. I went down the lane and I laid it up, but I laid up to the front. I was like, dang, if I would have turned my turned hand like this, around. I could have low key times, dunked that. You know how many times I looked at my summer league games? I was like, yo, if I just turned it around like that, I could have, I could have cranked, cranked that, bro. And you know what's crazy? The Filipinos be a little racist because they be looking at me. They be like, "Yo, Darren, dunk it!" I'm like, "Bro, you just think I, you think I could just dunk because like I'm black?" Black in me. Like I can't. Like I look. I look at a lot of summer league. I be like, "Yo, I could just turn that thing around. I could have just instead of just." That's what I'm saying. But I'm like, dang, bro. My second, my second worst pain was. Uh, have you ever seen that that hole in my leg? Yeah. I did you just t- get stung by a bee? That's what I tell people. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know what happened. They told me the doctors told me I got stung by a bee, but I don't think so. But it, so I got it, I got it, mm-hmm. and it was like just a big mass, like just it was just a big bump. Yeah, it started, off, it started off like a pimple, like literally started off so little. Like you might have a cyst. I mean, that's what it eventually it turned into that. Eventually. Oh, okay. But it started off like a pimple, but something bit me. Like they said, something bit me or stung me. That's what they said. Yeah. So it started off as like a little pimple, and then it just got bigger. It was that spider that was on bigger. Your and uh, it was that big ass spider. <laughs> it might have been, bro. It yeah. got bigger and bigger to the point where, like, I like, I could barely move. Really? So one, I, so my my dad was like, my dad's a macho. You're not going to the hospital. You're good. Yeah, that's yeah. my dad, bro. Yeah. So it was. Remember when my face wasn't moving? Yeah. Bro? My dad didn't take me to the hospital that night. He's like, bro, just sleep it off. You'll be good tomorrow. This man had freaking I'll, stroke. I woke up the next morning. It was. Worse, I'm like, yo, he's like, right, let's go to the hospital now. This man had that Joel and B thing, bro. I, yeah, I had the Joel and B literally. So, so I had a basketball game, and bro, I had to wrap this thing up. Yeah, and like it was, it hurt that bad. Like I had to wrap it up, H bandage it, put a sleeve on it, just to play, and I couldn't move. Like I was, like, like it was like tight. No, not because the pain is like, like my leg hurt that bad. Like, like what? Like what type of pain was it? like a stabbing pain or like a like somebody like kick like a like a Charlie horse pain? Like you know like a like them little like when you get like a limping high? pain like 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 you just got like you like you bump knees with yeah, somebody. yeah yeah that's what I mean. that's yeah, what it felt like yeah like oh, I bump knees sucks. with somebody it was just I it, hate those it just hurt so bad bro you know when I used to get those all the time bro when we used to do when we used to play like four or, four, or five or five and Dante used to read the screens 
bro. Dante. Dante hurt, used Dante to Dante hurt everybody, bro. Bro, he used to just knee me right uh-huh. in my thigh every with time. His sharp bro. ass limbs, bro. Oh my god, bro. bro I want to talk about Dante with injuries. He's the reason why I'm fat. Why? Because I had a six pack. He hurt my foot. I never had a six pack again. I mean, Tyrone got him back. He broke his hand, and that's yeah. why Tyrone started. Bro, fuck Dante. <laughs> I love you though. But Dante freaking scratched my eye out too one time. Yeah, Dante is Dante's the prime of injuries, bro. He he's just clumsy, bro. He's just long and clumsy. That Pause. was crazy. Freaking I don't know. Wait, was that was that when were you playing with us that time when I got my freaking eye clawed out? And like we probably was, we was playing like war rebounding and probably, I think yeah. Dante scratched my whole I had like scratches yeah. on my face. Uh-huh. Bro, Dante. Coach Log looked at me like like <laughs> Like he didn't even seem concerned. Yeah, I, he, he wasn't concerned when Dante whipped my ankle out, bro. And I was, I was, I was limping. He was like, "Get him off the court." I'm like, "Hey guy, I can't move, bro." Yo, did I ever tell you that story? I broke some kid leg one time. No, that's fucked up, bro. It's not know. my fault. So that's like, we, up. it was crazy. I got karma afterwards too. This it goes into like, oh my god, I actually got two. He just reminded me of hella pain stories. Mm. So. This was junior year, bro. I didn't I didn't play varsity till like senior year of high school. Uh-huh. So junior year I played JV and shit. So I remember we played Westfield, and I remember so in the beginning of the season, my coach was like, "All right, Darius, me me and this other guy, he was like, yo, if you guys get whoever gets the most charges out of y'all, I'll buy y'all Gatorade okay. every every day for the rest of the year, which is cr- which is great because I was the one who had the most charges. So like I used There's to get one Gatorade though. No no no. He gave me a Gatorade every week oh. until I graduated. But with the Gatorade, he also every Friday, he would come in with the Gatorade and he and then he start he upgraded me into a, a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. So every Friday I used to go to his office and he used mm. to give me a breakfast sandwich and Gatorade just for that day. So anyways, so I remember I took a charge in this one kid in Westfield. I took a charge, and like you know I got I walked over and I heard everybody say ooh. His leg broke. Bro, his thing was hanging, bro. Why'd I, you do that? I didn't do nothing. Did, like I think he's he like he land like, like he landed on my foot and like if you didn't enjoy that charge he'll be he would have had broke his leg. I mean like he learned like don't the, mess with me, cuz oh word that, like that, don't know like a, like this pain no sweet bro yeah you was not, the enforcer. No, I wasn't the enforcer. I was just like I was a shooter in high school, bro. I swear nah, on everything I, I love. You can shoot, you can shoot <laughs> bro. Like I mean like I wasn't like you like I wasn't fast. Uh-huh. I used to be on the wing just shooting it, bro. I used to come off of double screens. <laughs> I used to draw charges too. I won a game off a charge of or drawing a charge. Really? That's that's the closest thing I got to a game winner. The game winning charge. I was nice. No, I was nice at it though. It was like five seconds left. Like he might go. He made delay too. So it was like. Oh he, wait for against who? Against the white Englewood. Oh, uh, Tyson. I forget where, where the one that went to um uh, the one that went to uh like Wichita State whatever. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was against know. him, and I drew a charge with like five seconds left, and he like laid he, you. He laid me, but like they called the charge. That's so. tough, but like I stopped taking charges because there's one reason. So I remember we was in AAU and we went to you know Spooky Nook. So mm-hmm. we went to Spooky Nook and we was playing. We went, bro. This is the this is the best that 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 was that AAU team. I don't know if you see that over there, like on the left. There's like on the left where Jay's head is uh-huh. over. That was RA2. Bro, that was me, Tyrone, and them. We was OD nice, bro. We went to the cha- – this was our first tournament. We went to the championship game. Like, we made – because, you know, in AU, the sponsor – was in that picture? What, that one? Mm-hmm. No, no, not that one. The one to the left, the pure basketball one. There's no picture over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, um, so you That's know – above Jay's head, by the way. I said to the left or to the left of Jay's head. You said right above Jay's No, head. I said right above – I said to the left of Jay's head. Anyways – Bro, can you li- you can't hear, bro? I can't hear. You nah, you need these that. headphones, bro. I need to start giving you headphones. I don't think y'all too cool for the podcast now. No, I've been wearing the headphones. No. I wore the headphones like two episodes ago. Okay. But, so, I remember we played... So, you know, in the like when the AU tournaments, like, you have to, like... Like, the more you win, the more high, further up you go. Like, because, mm-hmm. like, you know, the, the people that aren't sponsored play in the back. Yeah. So, we made it we made it out the back, and we made it to, like, the wooden courts in mm-hmm. the front, and we were playing gauchos. And that's the sponsor. You know gauchos in, like, mm-hmm. the freaking Bronx... So they had these big ass, big dudes, this little guard. I remember I took a charge on one of the guards. Bro, he ran at me full speed like Westbrook right into my chin. And I'm like, I got up. Did you get the charge? I, I did get the uh-huh. charge. But, like, it hurt so bad, bro. Like, I never took a charge and it hurt that bad in my life. Like, it was like he was running a good, like, 15 miles an hour right into mm-hmm. my chin. So I get up. I'm already – I shake my head. I'm like, right, I'm cool. So now I'm going fast break layup. I'm going for a layup. Man comes in. LeBron pins my – my off Just the backboard. No, no, no. It was a the uh, big man. Uh. LeBron blocks it, right? I look up. I fall on the ground and he lands on my head. 
And I'm like, nah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, nah, I'm done after that. <laughs> My head was hurting so bad, bro. I'm like, why'd you do that, you big fuck, bro? Bro, like his like whole body. That's what happened with this 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 stitch right here. This it was March. Yeah. I went up for a layup. He's my he was my teammate too. He went no, I went up for a layup. He elbowed you, or maybe I went for a block. I'm, it had to be a block, and he missed the block, but like landed on my face, and like but I'm like we're both in midair though. So but he's big as hell. Like he's like KB, bro. Mm -hmm. So like and I'm like high school core. Mm -hmm. So so I'm going up for the block. We both miss it, but he misses it and like we're in midair and we fall like this and like. It probably looks so dumb. So stupid, bro. <laughs> looks so stupid, bro. <laughs> it might look crazy. <laughs> and yeah, my hole just bust open, bro. And they had they glued it back. Oh, they glued it back? Yeah. I think everybody always had a cut up here, but I never had. I don't I think got I got four. I got two on this side and two on this side. Do I have any? I don't know. Maybe because my eyes too squinted. Because <laughs> you're aging? Yeah. You got one right there, right on your eyebrow. Which one are you pointing at? You, like, you act right like one. my eyes aren't closed. The, the right one. This one? Yeah. Where? Right under your eyebrow. Here? No. Here? Yeah, a little up though. Here? Yep. Right here. Uh huh. Okay, I do. I do remember getting hit right here. Yeah, I think I think that's one. Dang, bro, basketball really messed up my face up one time, bro. I think I got a black eye one time. I might have. I don't know. I got so many black eyes. Damn, bro. But um, would you like to hear a con uh a story or would you like to do a, a question for uh, this next topic? We could do a question. All right. I'm glad you said that. So you are getting. You are getting paid three hundred and fifty dollars an hour to be this person's yes man, and you must do whatever he says or you will die. Who are you choosing? You gonna give me Hitler or some shit? P Diddy. <laughs> You're sick. Or Jeffrey Dahmer. P Diddy. That's, that's, that's easy, bro. I don't think P Diddy killed and ate people, bro. But he might say toot that booty up. Hey man, that's crazy. I'd rather toot that toot that ass and eat <laughs> eat a nigga, bro. He might not tell me to eat somebody. He might tell me to go get somebody so he can eat them. So you're gonna kill somebody? I'm not doing it. You're gonna get. So you're gonna prepare somebody for death. You gonna you there is just having that weight on your conscience. <laughs> look at look, bro. And you think you are gonna have that weight so, on your meat? So, oh, so pause. You, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> so you think? So you think Diddy's gonna go to the extreme to tell me to toot that ass? But Jeffrey Dahmer's not gonna go to the extreme until you eat this nigga with me. <laughs> I mean, no. Yes, he will, bro. And he's gonna be a black man too at that. So you're gonna have to eat a black man rather than they toot that ass were, for a black man. They weren't all black. Most of them was black. So you're gonna toot that ass for a black man. Eat a black man or toot that ass for a black man. What you wanna do? I think I'm gonna eat one. Yeah, I don't think I can. I'm not. <laughs> I don't wanna eat no, no. That's I don't crazy. wanna toot I don't wanna toot my ass. Either, I don't wanna bro. do none of this. But, but like you just like Three fifty an hour though is good money. I'm just saying, like, look, maybe Diddy's not gay, and he just likes to party. And in that case, I'm gonna be partying with the nigga, bro. I think he's mook though. I'm starting right. to see it. Like he's starting to look mook to me now. No, I mean like, he, he always been mook, but like maybe he's just maybe he's just a freak. What if he tells you to go murk somebody? Well, you don't know if he kill people. Well then, I bet you're not gonna tell me to eat him. Oh, but you'll kill him though. Huh? You never know. But Jeffrey Dahmer might tell me to kill a nigga, then eat the nigga, bro. PD might tell you, like, go get that little girl right there. Now what? It's the same thing with Jeffrey Dahmer. Go get that little boy. No, he don't like little... He, he, grown, he did. Man. He, he did like, like the little boy. He no, killed he that did. little boy that was like 14, bro. He was 14? Yeah. That the little, show? Yeah, the little boy, bro. The little Asian boy. Oh, yeah, he was 14. So, uh, it's the same thing. Dang. God. In hindsight, Diddy might not be a monster, bro. Jeffrey Dahmer is a monster. I might go. I'm taking the chance. Okay, I think I'll be P Diddy. I'll do a P Diddy then. But but now, if I'm getting duped, that's your fault. I'm sorry if you get duped, bro. I apologize. Dang, so that means we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be like in shifts. I mean, you won't be getting duped. I'm gonna fight. I'm a, back. I'm, no, I'm, what you mean? You oh. have to say I'm. A, I'll take the morning shift. Why the morning shift? You rather get duped first thing in the morning? No, because he's the, the, he's less likely to be like, yo, two dad, like at eight o'clock in the morning. You know when, on, a, on a long day, he gonna be like, damn, Corey, you look on a, a little long thick. day. He might not want to deal with me, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna shower, bro. Like, I'm gonna stink. You bro. Be like, yo, Corey, like you looking a little scrumptious today. I'm gonna bro. stink, bro. Like I'm gonna like, poop, I'm on, shit come, myself. Like, come to, like, if he still want that after me shitting gonna, myself, he, he gonna nasty. Like, yo, you want to take? He's like, you want to take a shower with me? You gotta say yeah. And I'm going to shit myself in the shower, too. I'm just not going to smell good, bro. 
<laughs> He's just gonna just. Do- I'm not gonna brush my teeth you, for nothing. What if bro? you don't have no doo doo? I'm always have doo doo, bro. What you what what's that even mean? I'm always, I'm gonna eat, but I'm always have doo doo, bro. So you always gonna have doo doo? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm gonna make it unpleasurable for. So him, you rather bro. have the night shift than the morning shift? No, I rather now that you broke it down, I would rather have the morning shift. Okay, like, like like the what? morning the morning shift consists of like. So let's say he wakes up at seven o'clock. Yeah, you're definitely working seven to four. He gets he's gonna he's gonna want something <laughs> in between those hours. No, he doesn't because he's to, yo he's a busy guy. All I'm doing is just just paperwork. And then and then four to four to ten four to twelve. He's gonna be partying or drunk. Like, yeah, and, yeah, and now he's gonna call you like Corey. Let's he go. Gonna, he's gonna be too drunk for that, bro. No, he's not. Yes, you, bro. He is, no, he's, bro. he's not. Gonna he's gonna be, be extra horny. He's gonna be bro. too drunk to deal with me, bro. He's gonna, he gonna be off the henny. He's gonna get a rhino pill, and then you're done. No, he's gonna be done, bro. He's gonna That's be done crazy up, bro. work. He's gonna Mook be... off a rhino is wild. And then, and then also, he's gonna be at, he's gonna be drunk at so many. He's not gonna want me, bro. Why? Because he's gonna he's gonna get somebody else. He's gonna get like. But like when he doesn't get them, he's gonna get an easy yes man. He's gonna get Meek Mill or something, bro. Okay, but when Meek Mill like nah, you have to say yes or you die. Or you, he might call you. I'm the morning guy. He might call you still. Like for he, what? You're, you're his yes man. You have to come whenever he says come. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're working. Yeah. I'm not on the clock. Exactly. So he don't have to. He don't have to pay you. So he could call you. No, 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 no. It only works if I'm working. I'm working them hours. I'm making three fifty an hour. No, bro. What do you mean no? I'm the morning shift guy. I'm the one that makes him call me, makes his, him breakfast. You're his yes man, bro. The worst is like a little morning yerk, bro. <laughs> Dick is morning, gonna be, Dick is gonna be a yerk. Morning, you're crazy. morning, morning tug, bro. <laughs> you think it's gonna be a tug? You're ridiculous, bro. <laughs> <laughs> get some morning neck from you. <laughs> no. Yo, that's all. First OG. thing in the morning, you're not getting, you're not getting bro. Yo, I don't, I don't want to think about this no more. Uh, you, you seen the Met Gala, bro? I only seen two fits. Do you, okay. What no, is I seen three fits. <laughs> Talk about do not move, do not move. I put seen that four fits. put that in the camera. I seen four fits. He said three and went like <laughs> I seen four fits, but I seen Lizzo's fit. I seen Ben Simmons fit. I seen a nigga that looked like Batman fit. <laughs> what? And I seen another fit. I can't remember who it was. Though. Okay, now do you know what the Met Gala is? I have no idea either. It's a fashion. I think it's a fashion show, right? You know, I don't know what. I really don't know what it is. Like I they, looked it up a couple of years ago because I was always confused. Because like they're literally just showing. Oh, you know what it looks like, bro? What is the Met Gala? It looks like the Hunger Games. Or they do my, they do like the fashion show? And the Hunger yeah, Games? it looks like the Hunger Games. Yo, yeah. there was like Jay was telling me before. What if they? Because they go into like this little auditorium and like there's no footage in there. Imagine they're having the Hunger Games in there, bro. Every year. Oh, it's just formerly called the Costume Institute. It was formerly called the Costume Institute Benefit. It's an annual fundraising gala held for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Art Costumes Institute in Manhattan. So they're just there. It's a fundraiser. With, so it's just a fundraiser? Yeah, it's a costume fundraiser. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, imagine they was doing the Hunger Games in there with all the freaking um homeless people and stuff. There was no homeless people in there. No, I mean, like, imagine they went, like, after, like, you know, after they do the little, like, red carpet mm-hmm. thing, they'll go into, like, this, like, like, this little room, because I heard there's, like, a room they go into. And oh, like, like a secret Hunger Games. Like a secret Hunger Games. And they're like, okay, I'm from District Manhattan. Yeah, I'm from Newark. Oh. They got Lean up in there. Damn, I mean, Lean won. Nah, Lean croak. You know, you haven't seen him? I haven't even seen him. Damn, I don't think, hopefully not croak. I don't know, bro, he I mean. Talk, he didn't talk that much, though. Because, yo, you know, I, saw, I heard they freaking be sacrificing the homeless people, bro. I seen this one video on TikTok. There was, like, a priest. He was talking about, because they say, like, a like lot of... venom? What? No, not, it's like a... It's like a like a ritual type of thing. They, like, do human sacrifices. And they did a study. The week right before Halloween... That's why they be saying Halloween's evil. The week mm-hmm. right before Halloween, that's the week where the most amount of homeless people go missing. Why would they do? They say they pick them up. Like, they pick them up in these vans at late at night, and then they... Either sacrifice them or make them like fight each other. Mm. Supposedly, I don't know. That's just like like Mandingo fighting. What does man? What do you mean by that? Mandingo fighting, bro. What does that mean? Explain to the viewers. Back in the day, they just took the took the two biggest black slaves and made them fight to the death. Oh, I I always thought Mandingo You're so gay. That's You're what so they. That's gay. what <laughs> like. You're such a homo, bro. <laughs> like what? That's what I thought it was. You're talking about sword fighting, bro. No, Mongolian sword fighting. Okay, now I didn't know it was it was that's where it was from. 
Like you just gave me the whole historian like artifact of I didn't know it was from Mongolia. Yeah. Mongolia. So you telling me Genghis Khan started that? Probably did. Is he from Mongolia? Yeah, I think he's he's oh, the yeah. Mongols. It was something called the yeah. They had Mo- Mongolian sword fights. How'd you how you know it's from Mongolia? You had to search that up. He did. He did search that up. I didn't search it up. He did search that somebody up. Somebody told me. No, he did search it up. I no, have, a group, no. I have a group chat named Mongolian sword fighting. No, I'm uncomfortable. Now I have another Ty- question. You know who's in it? Tyrone. Now I'm even more uncomfortable. Uh, I got another question for you, Core, and it actually leads into the topic I want to talk about. Which ability? I'm not lying. Mongolian sword fighting. Who else is in that chat? Let me. Anthony and Jermaine. Well, interesting. Yep. Sorry, people, that you had to hear this. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that, Corey. You're welcome. Anything for my brother. Which ability would you rather have? Have the ability to jump into any game that you want or have the ability to jump into any movie or show that you want? Ooh, that's a good one. Which one would you want? Dang, that's a good one. I think I'm going to do the movie or show. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Because I feel like the games is very limited. And I don't yeah. want to... That's. I mean, the only reason why... I mean, there's probably some movies that's probably as fun as the games, but like I'm saying, like most games is plot. Like I'm not gonna jump into God of War. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm not jumping into like Detroit. I'm yeah, not jumping, I'm not jumping into Ark. Yeah, no. Pick up Ark. no, I'm, I'm cool. not jumping into Rust. I'm not, I'm not jumping into GTA. Yeah, I'm not jumping into GTA. Like maybe, I'm not, may, maybe jump into 2K. I jump into Fall I could, Guys. I could just nah. I'm, That'd be lit. I mean, I'm winning that. I promise you. Like, I'm so if you die in the game, do you die in real life? No, no. You're just in there. It's like you. That's how you play the game. Oh, okay. So I could I could jump into Fall Guys. I could jump into GTA then. Yeah. I'm I mean, thinking if you die in a game, you die in real no, life. No, 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 no. You just like you're, that's how you experience like watching it. Like that's your oh. special gift. Dang, that might. I can't play 2K then because like I'm going against virtual LeBron. He's gonna turn into real LeBron, right? Yeah. Basically, <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> no, I mean, like you could boost your stats and you could be nice, and now you find. Oh, you right. So I could be nice. Or you could jump jump into like freaking. I might change. That might change everything. I'm not gonna lie. Or you can jump into like a. I might change everything. Nah, it is not going to. Only reason you can jump into love don't cost a thing, and now you're Nick Cannon. I was thinking that. <laughs> not that movie though. I was thinking about something else. But what? What do you think? You're a freak. What do you mean? Yo, what is it? What? What are you talking? About? I don't even want. Don't even. I don't even want to. They're technically movies. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> They're films. All right, all right. So keep keep going. Go ahead. I could jump into that and just. Yeah, you know, I I know, I know. You know what I'm saying. So, but you would. Which one would you do? I think I would do the movies still. I think I would too. I feel like there were some tough ass shows I would jump Even into. Even though, like, just being like playing the video game, like, it's gonna be so like as you. It'll be it's gonna be so fun. But I'm gonna think we'll do the movie because there's just so many possibilities. Yeah, I feel like it'll be like. Especially if you could become the main character, I think that'd be mad fun. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do the movie. But that might be also stressful too, because now you gotta like. I mean, it could be. I really could always way. like if you fuck up, you could just jump out and start yeah, over. Yeah, just do another thing, or just start over. Like, what movie okay. would you go to first? Like, what's your first movie? Dope. Dope. That's an interesting pick. I think I'm gonna do dope, bro. Like, why dope? That's just that's the most normal movie. That could be. That's like one of the most normal. Choices you could possibly get. Zoe Kravis. <sighs> she's in dope. That, that's the only reason why. Yeah. I feel like she's in other movies. No, nah, other movies. She's in Batman. I don't want. But like, in Batman, what are you gonna man. like in that plot? Like, he don't does he? He don't do nothing with he her. He gets her. He just fumbles. I'm not gonna fumble. Oh, you're not gonna fumble. You yeah. gonna make sure you don't. Fumble. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. Bro. Okay, all right, all right. Or uh, I might jump into Game of Thrones. He's freaky. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping into my childhood sh- stuff. I'm going to Power Rangers, and I'm going. To- oh, so you want to be a super? I'm trying to think of like. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to jump in Avengers. I'm think. I'm gonna jump into. Don't be a menace in the South Central while you drink your juice in the hood. Yeah. I'm jumping into good times. I'm jumping into Martin. That's fun. I'm That's jumping so. into Fresh Prince. You're such an old head. Like you're so, I'm, you're I'm, like you're like forty, yo. <laughs> like like just because I'm, I'm like get I'm, younger. Like I'm jumping into Hannah Montana for sure. Which is a Waverly Place. Mm, Sweet Life on Deck. Sweet Life on Deck. Sweet no, Life Zach and Cody. Nah, Deck because no, I'm jumping to Sweet Life Zach and Cody. No, it was because like, I'm assuming I'm my age. I don't yeah. want to hang out with them like, kids. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet Life on Deck. Oh yeah, that boat was tough. That's what I'm saying. On a cruise ship. I'm jumping into Dasso Raven. I, I, uh, I, I, uh, Pair of Kings. Maybe. I'm jumping into uh, 
What's that? What was that? That oh, cartoons count? Yeah. I'm jumping in the Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah, get money with them. I'm, I'm jumping in the kid next day. Ne- kid oh, next I'm door. jumping in the kid next door. Amy and Grimm versus Billy Manny. You know that there we go. I'm jumping in uh, the Proud Family. Yeah. I'm going at the Penny's mom. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. I was just going to I was gonna try to like go, say word for word what he's going to say so we say it together. Because I know him, bro. He's freaking weird. <laughs> Penny mom could get it, bro. Like, this man, the, the show's just going to go on. He's just going to see, like, where's my mom mm-hmm. at? And then Corey's, yeah. Whatever movie that I watched recently. Um, the Edge of Tomorrow. I'm, I'm going into a, that, bro. Wait, why the Edge of Tomorrow? Emily Blunt. Bro, do you know about that freaking movie? Yeah, I know about the movie, like the aliens. And, and he keeps restarting? Mm-hmm. That just sucked. Imagine uh, you just keep restarting. Oh, I mean, you just gonna keep restarting. What other movie did I watch? I might go into SpongeBob. Nah, what are you, doing? Might... What are you gonna do in SpongeBob? Spon- Yo, SpongeBob is hilarious. You're a human in SpongeBob, though. They didn't like, like, they didn't never encounter the human. Bro, David Hasselhoff. Oh, yeah. I guess. Like, I'll be David Hasselhoff. So you're gonna talk movie. to SpongeBob? Yeah, I'm like, it was good, gang. Nah, I'm going to Fanboy and Chum Chum. That's a good pick, but that's a very odd pick. Yeah, I don't care. Chowder? Nah. Dude. That might be some good food. That is. I only go. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna go to SpongeBob and eat a Krabby Patty. Good choice. I'm gonna Bust go to down a Krabby Patty. Patty. Yep. I'm going to Rick and Morty, bro. Oh, you got to. I gotta go to Rick and Morty. You gotta go to Rick and Morty. Let me see what else is on your wall. Family Guy? I didn't look at this, by the way, when I said it. Family Guy? Nah. Family Guy might be funny. What yeah. the fuck? Scooby Doo. Wait, where? Who is that? Oh, he's from a. It's it's a very good. Show. It's about conspiracies. It's on um, it's on uh Netflix. It's called The Inside Job. You should watch it. It's just like Rick and Morty, but like it's like a spinoff of Rick and Morty, kind of. But like they talk about conspiracies more. There's so many possibilities with the movies. Yeah, Scooby Doo. I'm doing a movie. Scooby Doo. Oh yeah. Going after Daphne, bro. Yo, stop. Just going to impossible, bro. Okay, let me now. Okay. There's just so many possibilities, bro. Or let's say I could go to like. I could go to Friday. I could kick it with Craig and Smokey. That's tough. Like, I'll fight Debo. Nah, I ain't just so, just Debo. see if I can do it. I ain't fight. I might fight him in one episode. Just to see if I can do it. I get my ass up. I ain't fighting him again. I might go in the Bernie Mac show. He gonna whoop you. He did. He's the beat. He's <laughs> so a single beat. The I, shit but I, I love the Bernie Mac show. R. P. Bernie Mac. Bro. Oh, my wife and kids, bro. I'm going there. That's good. That's a- Keenan and Kel. You didn't let me finish. You good? Good. good yeah. <laughs> good diversion. Yeah. Good. Keenan good deflection. Kel. Good burger. You hopping in Good Burger. I gotta try a good burger one time. That sauce, bro. I gotta try it. Oh, you gonna you need a Mondo burger? I was thinking about Mondo burger, but that junk that, it was too it was GMOs. They had GMOs before yeah. GMOs came out. But I'm jumping in the space jam, bro. I'm hooping with Mike, bro. Like it's just so I think many- that'd be a fun life. I hope one day they'll make that. I'll say nah, it's not gonna we're not gonna be alive for that. But you never know. Low key, you never know. <laughs> if they ever do that, bro, we're never gonna be alive for that, bro. But that's that's probably what people in like the nineties said about freaking the, the the Apple watches and look at us now, thirty years later. Yeah, but they also thought we was gonna have flying cars by then. I mean, I mean, you. The only thing stopping us from having flying cars is just like patrolling the cars in the air. Like you, we can really make a flying car if you really want to be honest. You just now you have to put like a freaking system in the air, like like a like a traffic light. That's the only thing stopping us, bro. What if it runs out of gas midair? I mean, that's the same thing as like if you run. I mean, they probably figure out some little safety things that you just like probably properly land. Like I'm not, bro. I feel like we're advanced, especially now we got AIs, bro. They had they didn't have cell phones thirty Did years you ago. Know you could do a, a head transplant. What do you mean a head transplant? I mean, technically, I don't think they like like I can cut off your head and you could put it on my body just in time for you to actively have your head on my body. And I'll live. Yeah. So I can be taller? Yeah. What's your blood type? O. You know O is universal, right? I don't think it's O. I just said O. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You don't know. I think everybody should know what their blood type is. I don't know. I think it's A. You don't got no you don't got no sicknesses, right? Mm-mm. You know it's taller people in this world, right? Like why you gotta come <laughs> for me? <laughs> oh man, bro, but nah. Where do you, do you agree f- with him? What the fuck? Why you want him to kill me, bro? <laughs> oh. Yeah. But nah, I wanted to tell you because, yo, I have I have a story to tell. Not a story, but I heard this guy talking about, he was trying, he was explaining how we could be in a simulation. Because, mm-hmm. you know, so this is what he was saying, right? So basically, the way that we could be in a simulation, right? Is think of it like this. There was a group of college kids that um, 
created a video game, right? And a CD. And the video game was like endless. Like it had like trillions of planets in it, trillions of life forms in it. But it was like, it was a video game. But like the thing is, they could put AI into that video game and give everything in there a conscience. Mm. And now that's technically a little world yeah. in a CD. And then you think about, you know, the Sims video game? Oh, like Free Guy. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Uh huh. So like people, like, if you put an AI on that thing, or if you put AI in a, the Sims game yeah. and give every one of those little people like a mind of their own, mm-hmm. which is possible, that's technically a universe like ours. So like, what if like... What if somebody doing that to us? Yeah, right now. Damn, they're like, cooking right now then. Because that'd be kind of OD. Because it's like... And it's like you would never know, bro. Damn, they cooking. They, they, maybe we are. You never, you'll never know. And it's like... It's just... I don't know. I think about it a lot because I look at the world in like patterns, bro. And I feel like my life is like, like set up. Yeah. Like I feel like everything like aligns too well. Like me meeting you guys, me doing this, me with Jay. Like it just, it's just so like there's, there, you don't know you how think your life is fake. No, no, I don't think it's you fake. Think somebody programmed it. No, I don't think it. I don't think nobody programmed. It. I just think like this is just the path I take. Like God gave me this path mm-hmm. because yo, there's so many of my people that I know know Jay's family. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Like my like uh like for my uh cookout right for my graduation, Jay's parents came and my aunt, my aunt Chocolate, they she was like, they call her Chocolate, bro. I know you got an aunt that's not they don't they don't call him by her name, bro. You know why I call her Auntie Chocolate? Her is name she is Chocolate. No, her name she's dark skin and her name is Devora. Like there's a Devora chocolate brand. Mm. So, she used to hang out with Jay's aunts when they were really young yeah. and they used to be over their houses all the time but they haven't seen seen them in years mm-hmm. what is the coincidence of that like that's and then my yeah. freaking bro my uncle's one of my uncle's best friends like i know him since i was a little kid his name's dion at my little sister's birthday party jay's dad came and he was like dion He was like ben like dion used to go out with his sister and was like in love with his sister mm. so i'm like what are the odds bro like my my parents, my dad went to the same high school her her parents went to. They were just he was just a little bit older, mm. and like the 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 park that she used to play at, like softball all the time. I used to go to that park all the time when I was a kid. And you never you never knew, and I never knew, bro. Every time, like I used to be like, you played at this park. I used to because there's a I I specifically knew the park because the park had like sprinklers that looked like animals, yeah. and I used to slide down there. And, and that was that same park she played at had those same things. You probably, you probably, she probably seen you like, look at this lame ass nigga sliding down this park. Probably, she probably did. She, that's what I'm saying. I probably seen her like in a like earlier in life, but now I got now I found Reddit stories that that talk about the simulation and it's yeah. kind of crazy. So have you ever heard of the red lamp story? Red lamp, a uh, Reddit story. So this is all right, this is the the craziest story I ever heard. Right. So this was in two. It was in 2004. Right. It was a guy named Mitch. Mm-hmm. And he was on his college campus, and he was just like a normal college student, a little nerdy. And I guess there was a there was like a a jock there, like a football player that used to mess with people, and he was messing with him. And one day, Mitch decided to like you know stand up for himself. The bully knocked him out, knocked him out cold. He went on conscious. He woke up, but like when that when that happened, he kind of like his life kind of was good for him. Like he found his wife, and let's say her, we'll say his her name's Jessica. Mm-hmm. So he met Jessica. They started dating, going out. But Jessica was like in like a whole bunch of like toxic relationships. But he was the first like you know good guy in her life. So it just so happened like they started going out and became they went they got married actually, and then they had a daughter. And then he had a per he got a great job, a good paying job they actually enjoy. So his life was great after he just got knocked out, mm-hmm. right? And then two years later, him and Jessica had a son. So then one day, right, he came home from work, and he does the same routine all the time. He like every morning he goes into his uh kids' room and says, "I tell you, I'll, tells them I love you," and he always kisses them on the forehead. Does the same routine every day. But one day after he came home from work, he sat on the couch and he looked at the lamp in the corner, and he didn't know what was up with it, and he just stared at that lamp for days. Like I'm talking about hours, and he just it bothered him so much. He stopped talking to his family. He stopped talking to his kids. He didn't eat. And he just stared at this lamp because he just said there's something wrong with this lamp. Mm-hmm. And he didn't know what it was. And he stared at it. And he got he got he went crazy about it. And then his wife was like, you know what? I'm gonna go stay at my I'm gonna go stay at your, my mom's house while you look at this lamp. Like, I'm gonna mm-hmm. leave you real quick. But like, once you're ready, come back. And he realized, like, he snapped out of it. The lamp is not real. The lamp was an illusion, like it was fake. 
And then when he realized that, a big like light like went around the room, like blinded him, and he got sucked into a portal. And like he woke up, his eyes woke up, and he was laid there on the floor after he, he just a, got knocked out. So he had a whole life, a whole ten year life, in the span of one second, and like two two seconds because he was just unconscious. And this is not a fake story. This ha- somebody said this on a Reddit poll. Uh huh. So he literally lived a whole life with a family, kids, a good paying job, ten year life in a matter of four or five seconds. And it was all it was all fake because he got knocked out and his brain created that whole reality for him. Mm. Well, you know what they say: you die, you live your whole. Yeah. So now I'm saying, like, what if that's us right now? So we're just living our life right now. We might or we're be just in a simulation. I'm gonna wake up from getting knocked out. Yeah, like you never know. I'm in the coma right now. Yeah, and I just don't know. Like, isn't this that... coma feels really real? But like, it felt real to him. I'm saying this feels real to me. This this coma. But like, do you like that's how strong your brain is? Oh no, yeah. Like I said, the the power of your mind. I always preach that. That's not yeah, creepy, your, your bro. Mind, your mind can you mind can do incredible things if you really if put you your mind it. to it. What are you talking about? What what's your mind done for you? I'm, I wasn't talking about nothing freaky, you freak. Because the way you were saying it, like, you was like about to start smiling at <laughs> no, me. No, I wasn't, bro. All right. <laughs> you're, All just right. A, and, you're just a freak, bro. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. And I found another I found another story on Reddit. Damn, so, I keep doing this shit. Bro. Yeah, sit up, bro. So, just push this down. there was another... I right, unplug it. No, you go, you go. Because every time I slide down, this shit just be like necking me. I'm sorry, people. If um you hear all that noise, but all right, so I have another story. So there was another Reddit thing that they was talking about. I was like, they asked the poll, where where what is your glitch in the Matrix experience, right? Mm-hmm. And there was like thousands of polls, but then there's one at the bottom, like like I'm talking about fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand posts, but then there was one specific one on the bottom that blew up, and it was about a girl, right? So she said, so there was a girl, right? And in, I think it was like in 2012. And she said she would have dreams of this girl named Aurora in her dreams every single day for like for like weeks, months at a time. And like every day she would see this girl in her dreams. And like it got to a point where she was like she didn't know like she had to find out this girl was real. So she would look into like her followings on Facebook. She would look in her contacts, but she couldn't find no Aurora. Right. So then one night her and her friend went out. So they went to a gas station, went to go fill up her gas tank. So as they were leaving the gas station, they were going to merge into the highway. You know, those little like one lane strips of roads. So she was going down the road and she got a phone call, a random phone call. Right. So she, so she like nobody was on the road cause it's like late at night. So she decided to just park her car and just safely take and then, and just take the phone call. So she picks up the phone and she calls and there's nothing, nothing, nothing going. It was just like a, it's like somebody just called her and freaking just had the phone like this. So she didn't hear nothing on the line. And then somebody behind her beeped at her because I guess he was in a rush. So she's like, oh, shoot. She put it in drive. She went off. But the guy was in such a rush that he went around her. Like, he went on the grass and everything. Mm-hmm. Sped past her. Not even, like, two, three seconds later, that guy got into a car accident. He got, like, I think a Honda Civic lost control, hit him, and they both died. So that phone call that she just had just saved her life because that could have been her. Yeah. If she would have went. So next day, she was like, you know what? I'm going to call this person again to thank her because she really just saved my life. Mm-hmm. So she called her again. She said, "Oh, hey, this is that third. Like, uh, you called me yesterday because um, randomly, but I just want to say thank you because somebody got into a car accident. I almost got into a car accident, but you saved my life." She's like, "What's your name?" And the girl's like, "My name's Aurora." Aurora. And she was like, "Aurora." And they just started talking. This, that, and the third. And he was like, "And then Aurora was like, well, I didn't call you yesterday. I don't know how you got my number. Like, I never made a phone call to you. Nothing." And then the girl's like, "Oh, this kind of weird." So they just kept talking, like, trying to, like, conversate, like, just getting their personal. And then she asked her, like, what's your Facebook page? Just so she could see her face. Mm-hmm. She went to Facebook, and that's the same exact girl that she had in her dreams, bro. Was the one that saved her life. What the hell does that mean, bro? I don't know. I don't Hey, bro. I just think life, I look, I feel like life is like patterns, bro. Like, once you find the right pattern, that's when life starts, like, going well for you. Like, things just line up for each other. What do you think, bro? I think that that's a crazy story. That's what I don't. I like. It's so crazy that I don't want to believe it, bro. But like, you gotta think about it. Like, but I believe I because you like you you be on Reddit, mm-hmm. just you know, like <laughs> if you see a long Reddit, if you see a long Reddit post, mm-hmm. like 
thousands of people see it. The people at the bottom, nobody's really going to see that. So, like, yeah. what's the point of putting it down there? Yeah. So, it's just, like, maybe it is real. But that would be freaking... That's that's creepy, first of all. That is creepy. It's like... It's like... What's that called? Guardian angels or something I'm like saying, that? I'm saying, yeah, like, your guardian angel is appointing you to this person. Like... Like, like assigning you to this person. Like, all right, we're going to set you up to this person because this person needs to be in your life. I don't know. That's weird. That's creepy as hell, bro. I don't know, man. But... I got something. What you got? So... We're gonna the 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 characters Omni Man. I'm gonna name character. Have you you watched them? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna name characters and tell me if you think who's gonna win in a fight between them and Omni Man. All right, I like this one. Okay, Superman. Yeah. You think Superman beats Omni Man? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I feel like Superman holds back a lot, Mm -hmm. but I feel like Omni Man is always at peak. And I feel like Superman gets power from the sun. Yeah. So, like, he's always, like, jolted up. So, I feel like, honestly, Su- like, Omni-Man is just a copy version of Superman. I feel like Superman okay. is a lot more strength than him. I was going to say, a reason, a, a reason I'll say Superman, because the creators made Omni-Man at the attentions of what if Superman was bad. Yeah. Same so, thing as, like, Homelander. Yeah. So, yeah. Up, my next one. Yeah. Homelander. Superman's watching him still. No, Omni Man and Homelander. Omni Man and Homelander? Yeah. Omni Man. I agree. Bro, Omni Man is OD. I agree. Because he he got bro, the his backstory origin story is OD, bro. He literally had to survive a one on one fight. I know, his whole life. His bro. whole life, bro. <laughs> like and then just randomly ended. Like it could have just kept going. Uh-huh. Like like he literally just kept had to fight off somebody beat trying to kill him every day for like years yeah. and he's made it out. He's the strongest of his people. So I feel like Homelander is just built technically. He just yeah, was given those powers. Alive. So Omni Man or Goku? Goku. You think Goku got Goku him? is too Goku is the one of the most like and like granted, I watched anime to an extent. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z Kai, but like I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z in like years. Uh huh. I just know Goku can destroy a planet with a freaking spirit bomb. Mm-hmm. I don't think Omni Man living from that, bruh. Omni Man destroyed planets too though. But, like, he destroyed planets from, like, the inside. Like, he's not, like, punching through a planet. I think Goku could literally punch through a planet. And speaking of punches, One Punch Man. One Punch Man. There's no way. What's his name? Otami? Yeah, I think something like that. Otami. Bro, that guy is the most broken character ever. He's literally a gimmick. Uh-huh. Like, he, he, he he's about to lose, and he's just, like, one. And then he just gets one punch off, and he wins. I, I, he's the most. I never watched the show, so I, I watched. Know. I watched like two episodes with Chris, and it pissed me off. I'm like, he's literally about to die to this giant monster the size of like three planets, uh-huh. and then he just uppercuts him, and then he just and dies. He wins? Yes, every time. That's exactly how it that goes. That would piss me. I, I'm glad I don't watch the show because that would piss me off too. Like but, if he's about to die, then he just one punches somebody. But it's not made to be like serious though. Uh-huh. Like it's made to be like that type of like funny gimmicky because that's why yeah. he looked like a little freaking. Like a little gumdrop. Yeah, like nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's why. It, yeah, it looks like mad, like 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 a bot. But uh-huh. like he's just strong as all that. That's just how it is. Okay. But I still think One Punch Man. I'm trying to think of somebody from Marvel. I mean, you can think of Thor. Who you think will win? Him or Thor? I think Omni Man. Omni Man's killing Thor like yeah, immediately. Anyone? Anyone? Omni Man or the Hulk? Which Hulk are we talking about now? Are we talking about like like not. MCU Hulk? Not MCU Hulk. Uh, that's a good question. Because honestly, like, World Breaker Hulk, World Breaker Hulk is OD. Like, that man literally destroyed the planet with a punch. Uh-huh. I think he, I think World Breaker Hulk is immediately, like, knocking out Omni-Man. Like, Omni-Man is just low-key. He got that little blitz thing where he could just fly super yeah. fast and just go through your stomach. I think All the Vulture Mice got that. Yeah, I think Hulk catching that. And then he's catching the, the. I think he's going like shh, uh, and just and just like community god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's doing that to him, bro. Oh man, I don't got nobody else. Let me let me think of one more before. Omni Man or Rick and Morty? I'm going Rick. <laughs> this man's just mm-hmm. gonna send him in the port. Rick is just gonna open up a portal like that, like that guy like, from Linson, like what's his name? Levy? Langston. Langston yeah, Langston Levy. Levy. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. just do. He's just gonna keep cheesing him with that, bro. <laughs> That'll be. I will make me mad. I'll get annoyed with that, bro. But. All right, I got I got one last question before we end the podcast. So I got, would you do this for a million dollars a year? And I got a, I got a bunch of different options, right? Mm-hmm. So would you take a million dollars a year for the rest of your life, 
but you must have a prostate exam every week forever. Every week forever? You it's don't. A, you it's, don't. It's just a finger, right? No, it's a rod. It's a rod. Yeah, it was a finger. No, 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 no. That's for dogs. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a rod. It's like what type of rod? It's like a camera. They put up your butt just to make sure your pro- prostate is good. Every week for the rest of my life. The rest of your life, every week, like on. And like, how much I'm getting? A million dollars a year. I'm doing that. Yeah, you freaky. You doing the bicycle too with the <laughs> with the Ildo on top on the bottom. Bro, you just you gotta get get money, bro. I thought you I thought you get money, a bro. A week though? I guess after a while you get used to it, right? I guess. I'll do it. I'll Come do on, bro. It. We get money, bro. Yeah, I'll do it. Look, I look back at it, I'm not gonna like I, it might save me in Think the long run. Gabe dudes do it whenever they feel like it. Exactly. So like, yeah, I'll do it. And it's like it's just, it's just, I'm just checking my prostate, make sure yeah. I don't get prostate cancer. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Exactly. I'm just being I'm just being healthy. We should honestly do that now without yeah. the money. No, you're crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you lost me, dude. All right. Would you give up your top 10 favorite foods in the world for $1 million a year? So I'm talking about if you have, if your favorite food's pizza, you can't eat no. My top, you said two? Top 10. So what the fuck am I eating? I mean, there's other foods in the world. Like, there's not just 10, like, there's other food. I in mean, the- yeah, I'll do it. Forever, though? Forever, yeah. I might have to switch my whole lifestyle. Yeah, no your whole rice, lifestyle. Nope. No more. You don't even know. <laughs> rice was your first answer. I just you know. Poverty. I, can't, I can't eat rice ever again. That's crazy. Rice bro. is your favorite food? Yeah, I love rice. Like, I'm not going to. I'm. I can't eat rice ever again. That might be good for you. <laughs> there's too much freaking. Fat. There's too much carbs <laughs> for your freaking. Damn, that's hard. For, the, for a million a year? A million a year, bro. Come on, that's bro. Rice, that's I it. I love rice, bro. Why rice? Like out of everything in the world, you can I talk about pizza, ri- Chinese food, beef and broccoli, chicken and broccoli, freaking a bacon, egg and cheese. You talking about rice? All right, so like, can I like, what? So can I just choose foods? What do you mean that has rice in it? But like, I can still eat rice. No, you can't. Not you. If you say rice, you can never eat rice again. A grain of rice is never going in your mouth. But so rice is not my favorite food. I mean, whatever your favorite, you can't lie to this. Like, it's going to just evaporate. So even if you didn't think it was your favorite food, it's going to get, de- like, deleted. Damn. Like, for me, it's probably going to be, like, burrito tacos, pizza, fried chicken. I love rice, bro. Italian sandwiches. I really, Taylor had making cheese. I'm going to do it, but I really, I, I hate this. I really love rice, bro. I really do. You would be you would be great in the Asian household. They would love you. If I bring you to, like, my Wawa's house, bro, they would love you, let me, bro. Let me go to Wawa. Nah, she she might be afraid of you. Oh, I'm big and black. Nah, I mean she actually she's used to my dad. No. She's like four eleven. She used to him though. Hmm? She used to him by now. Yeah. She he he gave her you. Yeah, that's that's the reason why like she likes him now. Exactly. Like she didn't like him before. I'm I'm gonna talk about that on a, so another day. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right. That hurts my heart though. So would you rather take a million dollars a year forever, but your your car will always break down whenever you're in it? So even if you're in like a taxi or Uber, you'll always break down. What's the point of that? No, that's like a, that's inconvenience. No. If you don't just hop on a bike, bro. No, no, I'm not taking that. No. Why? If you don't just hop on a bike, like there's other For, forms of transportation. Forever. Bro, you get you get bread now. I we mean, take you, flights, bro. Give me a. So helic- if, if you need to go 15 minutes away. Bike. That's that now. That's like 45 minutes. Bro, it's exercise. What? No, no, no. I'm not you're not doing that. All right, I'm doing it, bro. Get, let, I'm gonna hop on that bike. No, nah, you're, you're good, bro. What you mean? Think about it. You can't get in the car with Jay no more because her car's gonna break down every time you get in the car. We're gonna get in the little du- the little dude. So now you inconvenient her. She's gonna break up with you, <laughs> bro. She understand. I got a million dollars a year now, bro, for doing nothing. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. All right, it's all right, not worth it. All right, the last time, the, I mean, the last one is: Would you take a million dollars every year forever? But your qui- but your crib will be booby trapped like Home Alone every single day. So as soon as you wake up, it's booby trapped. Is it like just Home Alone? Like I'm not gonna die. I mean, think about it though. That guy was getting hit with with bales of paint. Your face gonna hurt. He got hit with a brick too. He got hit with a brick. He got his hair caught on fire. So you just walking through every time you walk through your crib, there's a booby trap. I'm gonna do it. I nah, feel, that's crazy. I feel, like, I feel like I'm gonna know. After a while, I'm going to know how to move around my house. Bro, there's going to be different ones every time. 
Like one day it might be just straight paint buckets hitting you in your face. One day it might be flames. One day it might be blow darts. One day it might be freaking, who knows, bro? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to maneuver. Bro, one own. day one day you're gonna be in the toilet. The toilet just break. Like, like that'd be yeah, no- that's a, that's right. That's just another inconvenience. Like imagine you walk in the crib. She forever, right? Forever, forever. Yeah, every day. I thought, I'm thinking it's just a year. Nah, no, every day. Nah, never mind. Bro, you walk in the crib, you just see a, a a a piece of. I'm thinking it's just for plywood. A year. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Never mind. It's just uh, inconvenience. Like that sucks. Especially after a long day at work, you walk in, you gotta be like. <laughs> Bro, you better not be working. You're making a million dollars a year. What's going to hit me now? <laughs> like a freaking, like a dog coming to you. Like, you don't even know. Yeah, like, ah, uh, all right. I got that question because I seen, like, I seen a video of, like, you know, you remember, um, have you ever watched Ultimate Warrior? Mm-hmm. So they did that, but with, like, imagine if it was, like, like how those Home Alone booby traps were. Yeah. Bro, the guy's face was broken from the paint, bro, from the paint mm-hmm. buckets. Because them things was filled up. And they said they swung it, whole face shattered. Yeah, no, nah, mind. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing that, bro. Nah. But you ready to end the podcast, my brother? Nah, I got one more. One more what you thing. got, bro? You don't so, want to save it for your next pod? Or you got... Nah, nah, I'm not going to save it. All right, go ahead. You talking about tomorrow? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Jordan's at... Huh? Corey's here because Jordan had a family emergency. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be here today, but... Yeah, but Corey's a... He's a regular now. So... Go ahead. Is snitching okay, bro? To an extent. Okay, right? So, if you look in history, mm-hmm. a lot of you look at all these history, right? Look at all these gangsters and like mobsters, and all these movies. A lot of them be snitching, bro. Yeah. American Gangster, Frank Lucas, he snitched. Nicky Barnes, he snitched. Paid in Fool, Alpo, he yep. snitched. Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Bel- Belfort, he, he snitched. Snitch. Sammy the Bull. At the end of the day, they all snitch. So it's snitching really bad because a lot of gangsters end up doing it anyway. See, at the end of the day, right, you got to look at it like this. I feel like snitching was created to save the bigger OGs Uh for whenever the younger guys get caught so they don't get caught. Yeah. So I feel like they don't like the OGs, they would snitch in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. But they'll put it put fear on the young ones, the youngins in the bottom, to be like, you will never snitch or we will kill you. So if an OG pins it on a younger, that's that not snitching? What do you mean? Like if he does it? Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, if yeah. if if an if an OG pins it on a youngin to avoid jail time, that's what they be doing. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That not snitching? That is snitching. So that's even worse than so snitching. snitching like, so why? So how is snitching so found upon if everybody doing it? All the gangsters are snitching. It's because they, they got too much pride. It's so stupid. All, 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 and if you look at everybody's paperwork, somewhere somebody's snitching. Exactly. So why is this like why why is there so much pride against snitching? That's what I'm saying. It's so stupid because it's like because they people be people don't snitch when they didn't do nothing. Like, are you serious? That's what I'm saying. Like, I know somebody right now that's sitting in prison, knowing he didn't do this crime, and he didn't snitch. And now he's doing a long, a, a long sentence. All he has to do is snitch. You know what it is, bro. The freak. I'm, I'm snitching. I'm snitching. Darius, if me and you, let's say me and you outside, right, and you shoot somebody, and they arrest me, yeah, I'm giving you seventy two hours to, to to tell. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm if giving you, you seventy two like this. A, but this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. If it's roles reverse, mm-hmm. if they ask me, if they be like, "Do you know who did?" It? I'm like, "I'm gonna tell you in three days." That's how I'm gonna say. Tell you in three days. Mm-hmm. Call my lawyer. If you don't, if you don't turn yourself in and you just let me rot there, you're done. Yeah, because that's just, that's the same thing. I let you go down for something I did. That's the, I think that's kind of snitching too. Like it's crazy, bro. I understand. That's dry. I think that's like dry snitching. Like, it is. Like, or, or, or if I go, if I go, who gun is this, right? And I would go. It ain't mine. You know who? You know who would like who would go against you? We just bring up. We should bring up at the party. Are you gonna be in the game tonight? Yeah. We should bring up in the UJ. party. UJ. Cause I told him that this all the time. He said he would never do it. I'm like, bro, you're he'll freaking- never snitch. Yeah, I am singing, bro. I'm bro. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna ruin my life for something I didn't do. Exactly. If I did it, cool. Yeah. Bro. If I did, I'm not gonna say yeah, nothing. Me, let's say me and you did a crime together. I'm and not. I got caught. I'm not snitching on you because yeah, I got caught. Exactly. But if you did something, and I got in trouble for it, yeah. and you free? Oh yeah, you're crazy. People on people on TikTok. If I make when I make this clip, they are gonna look at us like we freaking nuts. I don't care, bro. I'm so 
all the gangsters on TikTok, you gonna do thirty years for something you didn't do? You so you so real, right? All right, cool. That's thirty years of your life, bro. I didn't. I'm not even thirty yet, bro. So think about it like this. Now I'm about to cook y'all for real. Imagine, right? You get you get booked because your man's freaking SA'd somebody or SA'd a little girl, and they think it was you. You're not gonna snitch on them. You know, oh, what I'm mean? I'm 100 snitching. You gonna go into jail? First of all, I think I think that'd be different. What? Because now you just now it's like a different type of ruining my life. No, not even like you just committed a cardinal sin where I won't. I'm gonna snitch on you because I'll never want to talk to you again. Yes. Like you just you just did something so crazy. I don't want to be associated with you, and no one's gonna be mad at me for snitching. You'll be associated with him if he murdered somebody. That's the thing, though. People people would don't, be people don't. Uh, don't people don't like a like it's a different standard. So if you murder somebody and I snitch on you, I'm the snitch. But if you essay somebody and I snitch on you, I'm the hero because I got I got a, a offender off the oh, streets. You know, that's so stupid, bro. I'm so glad I'm a suburban kid. Right. I know. I'm so glad living in a nice, nice, stable household. I'm snitching, bro. I don't give a fuck. Don't if you you want don't do a crime with me. Oh, I'm snitching. I promise you. We rob a bank. I'm looking at the camera. Yeah, I'm like, yep. I'm not here. I'm a driver. I'm just. I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> you still going to jail? <laughs> I don't know what you thought this was. You still going but to wait, jail, wait, I look- bro? <laughs> yeah, you're packed up, bro. You are going right with them, bro? Like I feel like these these kids nowadays they just have it in their minds thinking like you know loyalty. But at the end of the day. They were turning your back. As I'm saying, the same thing really that really happens. That, that don't think you. Oh, I'm so I'm so hard. I'm not going to snitch. I promise you, they get that 25 th- thrown at them. They start singing, bro. That's why it's people. It's really important to get taught the right things. People, we don't honestly, we don't even know what the right things are. Mm. I mean, there's 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 morals. There's certain things that put in place, but like, like I seen a video of Cameron. I love Cameron. Cameron talking, right? He goes. The interview goes, yo. So I, uh, you like, you'll never snitch. So let's say, you, your neighbor's a serial killer, killed over a hundred people, and you know about it. Only you know about it. You're not gonna snitch on him. The dude goes, nah. I'm gonna just move, but I'm not gonna tell the police that. Oh yeah, the cross country killer lives in four E. <laughs> what? Wait, no. That's actually kind of different. You're not snitching on. <laughs> the, you live next to Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. During the nineties or whatever that was happening, and I know he's murking these dudes. Knowing he's mur- you, you're watching him bring dudes up, and they you then you seeing them disappear. Like okay, I was snitch on one condition. You the neighbor, bro. You are not snitching. I, I'm a snitch as as long as like they. I'm anonymous. I'm snitching anonymously. Is that cool? So you wouldn't outright like, yeah, nah, he's a serial killer. I'm, I'm snitching on. I him. will, but I'm gonna be like, don't tell him I said that. Oh, you want to wait? So you want to make sure he's away before? Yes. Like, I don't uh, want him to come get me. Oh, you kind of cook. You know what I'm saying? I don't you want him to kinda, come get me. You kind of cook. Because you're saying serial killer. You're not I mean, saying, he has like... the ability to kill you, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, cook, Ted, you, Ted Bundy almost escaped prison. You kind of cook. You kind of cook. So I'm that's why I don't want him coming you after kinda me. You kind of cook. I like, you haven't... That, you, never, you never watched any freaking TV show? <laughs> like, that's how it really happened. He might come back for you, bro. If it's snitch, you kind of cook. You know what I mean? You know how many times that happened in the TV shows where they snitched on a guy, put I'll, him in prison? I'll definitely... I'll I'll leave, I'll leave anonymous tip. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, you cook. You that's cook, a, That's bro. what you gotta do, bro. You like, cook, bro. bro. I'll leave anonymous tip. Like I, like, I seen... Like, I seen the dude that freaking went missing and go into my neighbor's house. Uh-huh. Like 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 that's what that's what you mean like by serial killer? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a No, him. like a Ted Bundy, uh Ed Kemper, Jeffrey Dahmer, you live next to him and you know he's doing it. Like it's not a speculation. You have hardcore evidence fact that you know he's doing it. No, nah, I I'll, I'll be scared though cuz I'm just afraid he's going to come get me. So you just move like Cameron said, you just move. I'll move, but then as I move, I'm be like, yeah, you gotta go to this kill this this person's house next to, next door to mine because he's there's something off of him. But I'm, that's what that yeah I'm gonna move though. You you cook you cook because I, I would die trying to get him off the streets. That's what I'm saying. You've been like yeah this guy he's the killer get him. Tyrone would be so proud. He 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 was snitching too. Bro. I know Tyrone <laughs> Tyrone the big yo Tyrone's really the ops bro. He's his biggest dream is to be a cop. So hey man, but nah, I'm yeah. snitching, bro. snitching is okay. But you guys, you got anything else you want to talk about, Corey? Nothing. I'm done. I'm gonna save this one for tomorrow. All right, bet.
So thank y'all again for tuning into another episode of No Rigs Podcast. Episode number 199, 139, 199 is crazy. We're not, we're not locked in. <laughs> if y'all, because it's freaking two o'clock in the morning, Corey. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This man Corey got me up at two it's o'clock. It's not in the two morning. o'clock yet. It's one fifty six. Well, if y'all new to the channel, subscribe down below, comment, post notifications. You know, it always helps us in the algorithm. Follow us on Patreon. Subscribe to us on Patreon if you want more exclusive content. We get. You get at least, if you get to the $5, $10 tiers, you get three, four episodes a month, plus this one. So five episodes a month. Come on, bro. It's not that much. Four or okay, five dollars. Okay. It's literally this Netflix. We're cheaper than Netflix. Like, come on, bro. And we're better than Netflix. Exactly. Yeah. We're literally better than Netflix. And, um, yeah. Shout out to SeatGeek. If you, I'm telling y'all, if y'all looking to go to the games, you looking to go to a playoff game, you looking to go to the MLB games, looking to go to WNBA, go see Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. Go to SeatGeek. Use code No Regulars at checkout. Saves you twenty dollars in your first order for fe- uh, for anything over fifty dollars. So and you're gonna pay for a ticket, so you're gonna pay over fifty dollars anyway. You might as well. And you're gonna get. You might get a shorty for a ticket for a little girl. Little girl, cut that out. That's crazy. no, no. I'll put that in there. That's crazy. This is advertisement. You can't do that. You <laughs> might get a ticket for your shorty for your mom. His mother day is coming up. You might want to take her to a to a playoff game, if, especially if you're watching the Knicks and Knicks play Sunday. You feel me? Hit different, bro. Exactly. Let's go. Seat Geek, twenty percent off, bro. Or twenty dollars. Twenty dollars off, $20 off your Seat Geek. Twenty dollars off your first purchase over fifty dollars. Come on, people. You buy something for $50, you get it for 30 Easy math, you know what I'm saying? You got any last Quit words? Quick maths. Quick maths? Quick maths. No fuck. You want anything? anything you, that's the last thing you want to say? Yeah, yeah. We, this man has, like, been Dominican for the last two hours. We different than regular, no regular, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.